Block 2. Main guns 1445 MK7. Loaded. 06. Fire at 0. Half. Range minus 35 kilometers. Secondary guns 445 MK19. Loaded. 012. Fire at 120. Range minus 18 kilometers. Tertiary guns 350 MK34. Loaded. 04. Fire at 2.2545. Range minus 13 kilometers. AA guns 37 millimeters pom pom quadruple mount. Loaded. 32 30 seconds. 20 mm MK VO Erlikan. Loaded. 2020. 0.562 MK3 number 3. Loaded. 8 eighths. Requiem. LVL1. Memento Mori. LVL10. Lydite Train. LVL3. On activation. 10s reload for next salvo. The following salvo has 40s reload. Can be activated every 40s. On activation, minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire. When this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it, 25% chance to completely heal this ship. Duration, 30s, can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage has 74 percent chance of critical malfunction it is not too much but at least it is something instead of regretting the amount of rewards i got i headed to the library to borrow a couple more books when i opened the door of the senior students building i saw that the door was held from the inside by someone's hand let go of the handle Please. My eyes were focused on a small girl with brown hair. I don't know how she ended up here but with how adorable she looks in her glasses I had to fight myself so as not to start petting this adorable creature. Ha. Huh. Are you deaf or too stupid to hear what I told you? The girl suddenly became furious. Uh. This majestic me told you to let go of the handle and now you are frozen here like a statue. Don't block my way. And no. I am not junior. Delight from class 1 to 2. I'm your be it all damned senior. So please get out of my way. The girl walked away as soon as I stepped to the side. What the hell happened? This child is hopeless. She murmured something before finally disappearing behind the corner. After that even the librarian with her 1000 reasons not to give me a book was unable to make my mood become worse. Nothing could make me feel even worse. I chose myself a nice spot at the square between the dormitories and began reading the exciting book about some magic things, because I took a high place in the recent ranking. Lilith blabbed everybody that I am some kind of a super genius and she already created herself a delusion that I am too genius for this academy. Right after the rumor reached my ears I wanted to punish her a bit but just after a single glance at how blessed she is in her ignorance I could not force myself. If I do fail then it would not only mean that I am dumb, not argued, but it would also mean my sweet Lilith will be disappointed in me. My stubbornness made me study hard to make Lilith feel good and here I am, studying day and night just for the sake of fulfilling her delusions. The lessons were finally over after the bells rang around the academy and soon this place will be flooded by noble ladies gossiping about everything they heard from other magpies. To find myself some comfort I headed to Lilith's room. I was not stopped by the supervisor because everyone already knew I am frequent guest here, so I had no issues arriving to the familiar room but when I tried opening the door it appeared to be closed. I listened if there is somebody and I clearly heard there is. I began knocking the door and after an entire minute it was opened. TCH, Uda F is strolling here. An angry voice called out while opening the lock. I immediately opened the door only to find that my mood indeed can be worse than it was. Ah. It's you? And here I thought I'd have some time with my lady. Yes, it was her. The infamous Xera V2CH42 thunder out of nowhere if I was to expect the worst outcome of the day then I would never think of seeing Xera. She fell on my head like a bucket of ice and killed my fragile happiness of having a place where I can relax and forget about my problems.
She took my rightful place and now she even wants to stay here while I chat with Lily. Can you stop standing like a statue? Like, I'd really appreciate if you stop freaking me out and finally go inside. X. Miss Delight. Isn't it great that Xera is finally here? We are once again reunited. I could only give her a wry smile. I know you don't like me showing up but you could have at least pretended that it's not the case. Listen, as long as you don't act like a pervert I am fine with having you around my lady, so stop looking at me like I am some kind of a monster. Okay? X. Why do you say that I am Aper? I already asked my lady what interesting things happened. Groping her right in front of her fiancé is something I'd never expect even from you. Congratulations. You really did surpass my expectations of you. Isn't it great, Miss Pervert? I surrendered. There is nothing I can refute. Even if I try telling it was a misunderstanding it would not help. My my. You suddenly shut up and did not refute to reward you I'll step out the room so you can be lovey-dovey. If by the time I return from the bath I'll see something indecent then you'll never step inside this room ever again. Have fun. She shut the door but at least I am not going to see her for an hour. Uh. So what are we going to do Tilda? Lilith fidgeted in embarrassment. Girly talks. I am so excited to finally have some gossip of my own. The other noble ladies tend to avoid me so my only conversation partner is Lily, yay yeah. I guess she is too tired. Xera's puff it was so good to have a bath after so long. Unlike a certain Miss D. I had to walk all the way and to arrive faster I neglected making stops when not necessary. While I was somewhat certain that my lady will be protected by the weirdo. I still wanted to hurry because whenever I am not around, the S flies start to swarm around the Ambrosia. When I heard about what these doves did I almost wanted to beat the sea out of Miss Delight but then I thought she is the least problematic person of all that swarm around my lady. If they somehow end up together then at least that would make the flies go search for a W of their status. My godlike master is too far from their reach. As I was returning I almost expected to walk into something indecent but when I opened the door all I could see is them talking. After Miss Delight was done chatting she left and I could finally talk to my lady. I turned around but instead of her happy face I only saw desperation. W what happened? This was too sudden for me. Ha! Huh? If only she showed a bit more affection. My lady was disappointed. What do you mean? X. When Miss Delight is showing me her affection or being intimate I feel so happy Tilda. Yet, she only does that when I take the initiative. Ha! Huh? L, my question might be impudent but, are you in love with her? Please no, please no, please no, I am not sure. At least I know I want her to show affection on her own, like hugging me not only when we are alone, or rubbing against me. I like cuddling with her but it is always me who does something. L, so. You want to make her shower you with love? Am I right? X, W well. I won't be against her falling in love with me. My lady became red like a good tomato. Then. How about we make her realize she wants to have you? Let's think of a good plan to make her fall for you. X, meanwhile, Delight was returning to her dormitory. I never thought I can become such an annoyance for her. While we were talking, Lilith was so stiff. I shouldn't bother her this late, especially considering she has so much to talk about with Xera. Well, I can just annoy Lilith tomorrow. I opened the door to dormitory and walked to the floor where my room is. Usually there are some people in the halls but considering how late I am it would be weird to expect seeing anybody. I approached my door and heard steps coming from behind the corner. A girl walked out of there and nonchalantly headed towards me. Oh my! I never expected you to show up so soon. Have you finally decided to become my follower? Charlotte showed up conveniently right beside my door. Hey, don't you dare looking at me like that. I live right next door. Yeah, right, you already doubt my words? I really do live here. You never even tried to visit me. Never mind, 
I see that you are tired so I will let you go, just this time. Farewell, Nii Bo Artilda. She chirped and disappeared into the next room. Just what the hell happened? I asked Francis right when I stepped into my room. She was nagging me about your whereabouts for the past six hours. F, let me guess, she lied about living the next door? No. She moved in there today. F, damn it. V2CH43. Sliming off the wrong side of the bed knock knock I was happily pretending to be asleep when somebody knocked the door. I checked time but it was only 6 o'clock so I ignored the knocks. Knock 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 knock. Just who is so restless this early? Knock 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 it was more like kicking now so I finally slimed out of the bed and prepared to give an uninvited guest a dummy shell from 76mm gun. I opened the door and oh. Did you already wake up? Then how about we dot tilde slam knock knock I opened the door again. So, as I was saying. I dot tilde slam knock knock in the end I listened to her rambling. Charlotte kindly bestowed me an opportunity to have a breakfast together. After I pointed out that it is still early morning I gently rejected her offer with a rephrasing of go die in a sewer before gently slamming the door again. This time she understood that she was too early and returned to her room. When it was an actual time to go and have a breakfast she did not appear so I hurried to leave the room before she shows up. So you are saying that she started harassing you as well? Lilith was not surprised to hear about that. You mean she did it before? There was one time when she had some issues with her parents and thus for some time she lived in my dormitory. As you can guess right after she decided to approach me all kinds of bad things started happening, she was showing up early in the morning to take me somewhere, despite my refusals, she was harassing me and my friends to make me serve her. She was constantly mocking me, my manners and my dresses, I can only pity you. L. Later that day we were having the practice classes. I notified the teacher that I will attend with a friend and that I shall accept no refusal. It didn't take me long to find Charlotte. She was gossiping with her lackey girls. I did not hesitate to approach her. Miss Charlotte, do you have some time to discuss a certain thing? I will talk to you later. Wait here. Charlotte said something from the crowd of girls. Oh my. I see that Miss Charlotte is a tad busy. I shall visit you later then. Charlotte immediately appeared outside of her group. Ho ho ho, you arrived on time. If you really want to talk to me then you will have to show that you are worthy of my attention. We will talk as soon as you prove your. See, oh my. It appears that my offer shall be refused. Very well, I shan't occupy you any longer. As I started turning to leave she became agitated. W W wait. I I I did not order you to leave. As I was saying, I am interested in finding your worth to me so I suggest we go and talk together. I wonder if it is really that hard to just say yes, I want to know you better. It's not like she will be considered weirder. I led her to the firing range. While she was not understanding why I led here exactly here. She will understand in a moment. I deployed the guns and used both abilities to reload them. The historical moment in my life as battle cruiser, I finally reloaded all the damned guns without exploding. Having fires or other issues. Each of eight big tubes is clogged with a shell and powder bags. Is that how the Pulis feels like? Watch carefully. Miss Charlotte. This is what happens to those who interrupt my morning sleep. Boom 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 of all training dummy shells only one hit the target. That magically protected reinforced target was. I'll just say all that remained is the stick where the target was attached. I looked at Charlotte and for a minute she just stood in a stupor. Then she blinked and turned toward me. This is. This is. This is super cool. What? Instead of making her understand that I am the last person whose sleep she would want to bother, I actually turned her into my fan. So that's what happened? I decided to consult with Xera. Yes. And why are you asking me? X. Because you are the perfect person to advise me on this. Ha ha. I never thought you want an advice how to make a noble become your friend. X. 
No, I want an advice how to be so repugnant to make her want to stay as far away from me as every other being stay away from you. Do you really mean this? She clenched her fists with a smile of rage. I only giggled with a smile, and the answer is? X, I didn't mean it, it's just another one of my stupid jokes. I really didn't mean it this time, okay, why not you give her an opportunity? She might not be that bad. While she was acting on my lady's nerves, she still somewhat tried to be friendly. Maybe you will actually find her nice to you and stop clinging to my lady? X. With this I decided to give Charlotte one last attempt at redeeming herself in my eyes. V2CH44. Morning tea drinking the next day after my consultation with Xera I was expecting Charlotte to appear once again at my doorstep, but she didn't show up. For the breakfast I was on my way to pick up Lilith but I was intercepted by Xera. Don't search for my lady, she has an appointment scheduled. Go and have your fun without her. X. What are you doing here then? Should you not be by her side? I'd be glad but the crown prince demanded that they will be alone. While I did swear my loyalty to my lady, I am still subordinate to the crown prince. Hey, are you willing to take me? I'm hungry and you no doubt are going to have a breakfast. X, if you are fine with a possible encounter with Charlotte. No problem, follow me. Is it not supposed to be me leading? As we entered the restaurant I began scanning for possible seats. Meanwhile, Xera disappeared to fill her stomach with whatever free food she can find. Because I actually only wanted to have some hot water I did not care about her problems of standing in a queue. Suddenly my sleeve was pulled. When I turned around to see the evil do I saw the familiar curls. You. I demand that you entertain me during my breakfast. Follow me. I was getting tired of her rude attitude so instead. I demonstratively looked around and prepared to leave. W what is wrong now? Charlotte was confused. Oh my, whom you might be talking to Tilda. Please, do take this hint. Uh, what? K-H-M, as I was saying, follow me. I did not move a centimeter. Uh, is it because you don't have a tray? She tilted her head, while not as cute as Lily, she has some potential. If she stops being so slow. I surrender. I have no idea what you want. Just tell me. I don't have all the morning to show you how magnanimous I am. See, Mr. Tyrion, might I inquire whom you are talking to? You you are, ha ha, khm, Miss Delight, I order you to join my clique for breakfast. Follow me. Now I did follow her, even though her attitude is still to be cured. I was sat amongst her followers and soon a number of waiters brought luxurious dishes and drinks. I saw that I was presented a cup of steaming hot water. Now that I had everything required for the breakfast I picked the fork and began picking an unknown mass of proteins which vaguely resembled meat. Now, girls, I recently received a gift from my parents so today we will be drinking. Charlotte was saying something in the background while I was taking some underwear out of the purse with one very specific purpose. German, pass this to my new servant. Miss Delight that should be honored that I allow you to have some tea. Uh, what are you doing with W? What are you doing? Suddenly Charlotte stopped murmuring to her entourage and screamed while covering her face. Is it not obvious? While you are busy giving everybody your toast I was making myself some tea. Uh, right. Question mark where did you get the tea from? See, would you like to know more? I pointed the fork at her. F fine. Do you need sugar? She quickly switched gears and now was talking about making my tea drinking somewhat comfortable. Oh my, it would be great Tilda. The rest of the breakfast went silently. Nobody here was talking so I quickly became bored and right after I was done clearing my plate I walked away. I wonder if Charlotte wants new friends because she is just tired of this silent table company. I barely saw Lily recently. When we have classes she ends up sitting with the prince so I have to sit alone, or even worse with Xera. I left the classroom and headed to the library to borrow another useless by itself book. 
On my way I walked into Charlotte who weirdly was alone and did not start laughing or calling me from 100 meters away. Normally I would pretend I never saw her but currently I am giving her a chance to show she is not as bad so I approached her. Miss Delight. You look like you have a lot of spare time. I will let you accompany me while I am studying. See, name me at least one reason why I shouldn't say no. I. I was going to let my servants have some rest but now I need some help with studying. Even a genius like me needs some company during studying so I will let you keep me company while I prepare for the exam. She crossed her arms and stared at me with arrogant confidence. I remember not seeing her name in top 100 but it must be a misunderstanding. I really have nothing to do. So be it, then. Where shall we study? In my room of course. See? Meanwhile, from behind the corner a pair of bloodshot eyes glared at them. A side story of darkness and a cat no 12. Inspiration PT1. When I woke up today I felt an insatiable urge to do something. I felt like I am wasting my life without doing something that will make my current life have any purpose. Aside from fighting I never had anything I was interested in so currently I must be feeling bored. Are there any ways to entertain oneself? I asked the others because normally humans have a lot of activities outside of fighting and commanding. You can try painting. It helps calm down and concentrate. Lane. He gave me some money and I went to the market to buy something to paint with. There was a nice guy who sold me a highest quality painting kit. After I finished setting up the painting accessories I dipped a brush into the paint and started painting. What is it? The female walked into the room and stared at my painting. It is painting. Uh. Where did you find this? Paint. F. A guy sold me it for just six gold coins. Guys, come here. She started shouting. What is it? What happened this time? P.F. Look at this remarkable painting. Do you see it? F. Is this some kind of an invisible paint? M.G. But the guy said it will show after I am done painting. I precisely followed the instruction. Curan army, sweetheart, where did you buy this? We. Oui want to buy a kit for ourselves. The female put her hands on my shoulders and smiled. Are they as excited as I am? I explained where to find the guy. All right, man, time to beat the sea out of the a-hole who scammed her. Follow me. Everybody left the room, to be continued. V2CH45, best friends for a night after we arrived to Charlotte's room each of us took the notes and we began checking each other's knowledge in the areas we deemed lacking. For me it was no doubt the history and magic classes, for Charlotte it was related to mathematics and surprisingly etiquette. While both of us had weird expectations that we will be happily chatting, in reality we didn't even look at each other and right after we were done studying one thing we continued with the next. This equation. C, use this formula and then swap the A with C. Are you sure? C, try it. We soon grew tired of this exciting studying session and at 1.2 notebooks were thrown into the corner of the room and were followed by two bodies falling onto a bed. Who might have thought that our group activity would end up like that? Can't argue with that. Whenever I studied with the other girls, we were chatting all the time. At least I am sure we will pass the exams. She responded with a tone suitable for the response. Yes, I will keep this talk alive because there are no other options. Any ideas what we can do while we gather the strength to continue? Maybe we can drink some tea? I have few tea leaves but that should be enough. See? Then how about you take whatever you have while I will ask my maid Frances to boil us some water? I will add my own leaves if there is not enough. Sounds like a plan. With this I went to my room. Soon both of us were sitting at my table and drinking the tea. Charlotte gave me a strainer so I would not shock her with my panther. Uh, so, what do you think about Lily? I was the first to break the silence. She is fine. I guess. Have you met her fiancé? The prince. See? I wonder if that man should have his hands cut off. He was clearly molesting Lilith the last time I saw them together. 
You are no doubt mistaken, His Highness is righteous man, he would never do something like that. See, you surely do adore him. This has nothing to do with you. The talk ended up cornered and shot with a battleship gun. Neither of us dared to talk and soon our table was shrouded in an awkward silence. Occasionally we made sounds of lifting and putting down the cups. I, sorry, my response was too rude. Charlotte broke the awkwardness. I did not mind that, it was rude of me to vilify a person. Listen, I feel like we can't have a proper talk like that. Do you have any ideas or anything you want to talk about? I have some ideas but why not give her a chance to show off? N no, I, never befriended anyone by myself. She hid her face in embarrassment. What should we do? There are so many friendship techniques but neither of them appears to work here. In the back of my mind I had some ideas but I just couldn't think about what to do. And then I remembered something which can help a group of people forget about any obstacles in their talk. I went to the cupboard and found a bottle of liquor. Want a drink? What is it? Charlotte stared at the bottle like it was her first time seeing something like that. It is alcohol. Well, it might work out better than sitting like that. She moved closer to the table while I poured the cream-colored liquid into a couple of glasses. Cheers. We clinked the glasses and drank the liquid. And then I told her let's be besties but she was like you're a nuisance. This girl, how can you even talk to her properly? See? Yeah. I remember I was climbing somewhere and she stared at my ass all the time. She's pretty but why does she always act spoiled? Whenever I'm not around she starts. A I love you, you are the best. See, you are so cool. When I met you I thought you were so clingy but then, I woke up on the ground somewhere. My cloak was somehow hanging on a branch of a fallen tree, while my dress was soaked in something. I looked around and saw I am somewhere in a forest. The opening where I was lying surely did not appear naturally or was here before the night. You 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 you. Charlotte was lying on my lap and crying. Just by remembering this night's activities I can tell we either became best friends, or best drinking friends. Way I dasn't he love me. Way I? You 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 you. She is still drunk and keeps crying. I can't remember what we were discussing prior to that but judging by her interests it must be about Lilith's fiancé. I feel like it will be going on and on forever. I should accelerate the sleeping process of hers. Bang I knocked her unconscious and after I retrieved my property I carried her back to the dormitory. I wonder what she will tell me after she wakes up. A side story of darkness and a cat no 13. Inspiration PT2. I don't know who dared scamming our silly catkin but at least I know they will regret doing it. We swiftly approached the presumed location of the guy and I peeked from behind the corner. He's there. A F who sells all kinds of junk to naive customers. This one should be the scammer we're looking for. So, Lady General, any ideas how we'll make him return the money? P.F. Yes. How about we go, apprehend him and then beat him till he gives us a refund. Then we'll go and buy her some proper paint. Plan? Plan. Everybody agreed so we headed there. The guy noticed us immediately and started advertising us the sea he sells. Do you have some paint? He paled but immediately continued advertising. An hour ago you sold our feline friend a kit. We'd like a refund. Sorry but she bought it fair and square. No refunds. He smirked at us when he saw town guards nearby. All right. I see. So, man, hold him. We apprehended him at once. Help me. While he was screaming left and right the men lifted him so it would be easier to beat him. Punch, punch, puncher, help, help me. Ah. What are you doing? Kick him in the beat till he refunds. Simplicity itself. Lane, no, no, no. Kick her. I did not hesitate to kick him as hard as I could. That girl is the last person to understand she is scammed yet he still dared doing it. What are you doing? Release that man at once. The guards rushed to us. To be continued. V2CH46. A ridiculous gathering after I handed over Charlotte to her maid I headed to Lilith's dormitory. 
There I was told that she already left and I hurried to the restaurant. She was not there either but because I am already there I decided to eat before I continue searching for Lily, good morning to you. One of Charlotte's friends approached me, good morning to you too, might I inquire your purpose? Have you seen Mr. Tyrion? I did not see her today but some people saw you with her this morning. The girl looked at me with suspicion. We got drunk together but currently she is in her room. Thank you for the information. Good day to you. The girl bowed and walked back to the rest of Charlotte's entourage. After the breakfast I was going to wander around and search for my breast pillow. Not that I ever used her like that. As I was about to enter the class I was grabbed and dragged out of the student flow. What is it? I barked at Xera. Shut up, will you? Milady has a message for you. She can't see you for now because she was taken to the city. Also, she wanted me to remind you about the gathering. You do remember about it, right? X, no. I am astonished it is the first time I heard about it. Instead of a long story I'll just tell you it's where the nobles band together and go I mean talk about important business. We three might be the last people to be called social butterflies but we still have to attend. Lady wanted to see the best dress you have cause you'll be her escort. X, it would be weird if I was to. Either you or the crown prince. X, however. I might be the perfect person to do it. Objection withdrawn. Of course I have no dresses other than the one I am wearing but at least I changed the underwear. Right at the doorstep of my room I was intercepted by Charlotte. You you are. My head still hurts. Hangover only affected her and by the looks of it she suffers for both of us. What are you doing here? I can't just walk like this. Help me walk to the gathering. I am getting a bit late so, you were, h hey, it is not, a a appropriate. She was blushing because I princess carried her. By the time we arrived Charlotte was close to fainting but an armchair helped her relax. A few moments after I sat down Charlotte, Lilith showed up. Miss Delight, is it really the same dress? She was a bit disappointed. I doubt anybody would not like this dress. Everything looks perfect when you are facing a Guntilda. With this I gracefully led her inside the hall where were the other students. While we two were the least dressed of them we still remain the best because we remain ourselves. Miss Delight, can you stop staring at those dresses? Were you not saying your dress would be liked by anyone? Lilith had time to both check out every other dress in the hall as well as Prick. The gathering was going smoothly. The majority of people around us were gossiping or discussing their own affairs while Lilith and I had the snacks tables at our unchallenged disposal. Because we too are poor and have to survive on anything we can find, this was the best opportunity to gather as much snacks as we can. Soon the crown jewel of this gathering arrived, me, Lily. How was it named? Again? Eclair. She answered without raising her head from the plate. So, His Highness Eclair arrived and he was accompanied by Charlotte who glued herself to him. Look at those lovey-dovey guys. Who's so clingy here? She still did not care. Eclair and Charlotte. Now she raised her head to understand what I am talking about. What? She screamed loud enough to attract everybody's attention to us. The prince saw us and immediately separated himself from Charlotte. I grabbed Lilith's hand to help her control herself. A Claire immediately grimaced and glared at me. Oh my, might it be that you are not happy to see somebody holding your fiancé's hand? I think it is alright if I chastise him a bit. I see, so you are finally showing your true colors? He continued glaring at me. I could only tilt my head and wait for his response. Not only do you abuse the others but you also dare to seduce my fiancé. I am not surprised. Listen, everybody. Those two women were harassing Mr. Tyrion all the time. They conspired against me and now we all see that my own darling fiancé is cheating on me. M, oh my, you surely have a liking to redundant phrases. I was ready to rout any of his claims but before I could begin. The other nobles were already gossiping. We too turned into the main topic of today's mocking. Well, 
It is my best opportunity to put a large nail into the coffin, mine or his. It doesn't matter. Everybody here knows about how you two were slandering her, you were ridiculing her and this night you even drugged her. I was trying my best to remember when we ever did something like that. I demand that you two apologize to Mr. Tyrion. I strengthened my grip when I felt that Lilith is about to explode. Charlotte, on the other hand, did not dare looking into my eyes and only hid in the crowd. If that is what you want then. He gloated his victory while I deployed the guns. Remember that you are nothing. If you have no strength to make me follow your orders then be so kind to shut up and leave for I shall not succumb to these ridiculous demands and accusations. The one who is strong shall never yield to the ramble if they have their pride and honor. Mine are with me and I am proud to protect what I cherish. If you still have some brain inside your head then you better retreat. I was ready to kick load the guns if he dares continuing this discussion. When I withdrew with Lilith nobody dared stopping me but I already know that this farce will not be forgotten soon. A side story of darkness and a cat no 14. Inspiration PT3. What are you doing? Release that man at once. While the guards were running here I continued beating the fraud with both fists and legs. Hey lady, are you deaf or what? Gee, like hell I would let this F go. He scammed my friend and now he refuses to refund. Let him go. I reluctantly told the men to let him go. Kick as if, in reality, I was kicking until the guards dragged me away from the man. Only then the others let go of him while spitting. What the hell happened to make you four assault this man like that? Gee, I was trading when these four people approached me and demanded that I pay them protection fee. When I rightfully refused they grabbed my limbs and this woman began beating me. You saw it with your own eyes, didn't you? This fraud, is it true? Gee, like hell it is. He scammed our friend by selling her old dried paint. I warned her what she's buying, it was her own choice. Fraud. Then it's settled. We'll lead you four to the station. Don't resist. Gee, what if I tell you who the buyer is? The guards stopped. Have you heard about the black-haired catkin who recently did some things? P.F. The guards started shaking. Imagine what she'll do if she comes here. Lane. Refund them. The guards barked at the fraud. With the bastard being taken to the prison and us having the money back we headed to an actually good shop and bought some paint and good brushes which we gifted to our pet girl. Two hours later I checked on her. Guys, come here. Neither of us understood what the hell she painted. It was a grey flattened cylinder with a styled fish image on its side. I was thinking what to paint but then I remembered. Growl V2CH47. A sickness ride it was not unexpected that a few days after the prince's vagary I received a letter. The sender asked me to go to the royal palace to be the defendant. While I wondered if it was related to my not so recent acquisition. I still had to go. Before proceeding with anything else I decided to ask the principal if there is something I should know. So. You are summoned to the palace. I am sure this delay is related to the fact his highness had to write a letter to the king before anything would be done. You are in a very bad position if you can't impress the king. P. For now I think I have to get there. Am I right? There is a river nearby. It flows right into the sea so if you take a boat you can get right to the capital. It will take a day or two to reach the sea and then a week to reach the capital. The crown prince must have set sail right the next morning after the gathering, you need to hurry. While you and Miss Evan pack your luggage I will call for a boat. P. Why would you help me? That boy needed some spanking for a long time. If you are smart enough to make him shut up then you should be able to refute all of his claims as well. This would be a good lesson for his highness. P. Of course considering how much time we would have I decided to accelerate Lilith's preparations by at least informing her about the current situation. Currently she is studying so I need to go inside, take her and then send her to pack. The operation of course was simple. I just shamelessly entered the classroom right in the middle of the lesson. 
lifted Lilith off her chair and carried her out of the room before anybody could voice their discontent. W what is G going on? L. We need to immediately pack our belongings and head to the capital. The principal already took care of our transportation so our task is to do everything first. Yes, as you say. She stopped struggling and just let me carry her. While Lilith was packing I already took the purse since I never left it in the room, and was waiting outside the poor dorm. Meanwhile, somebody was running towards me. Are you crazy? Xera was steaming like a locomotive. Oh my, it is nothing but an emergency Tilda. Emergency my A. Eh? The principal informed me so I get it why you kidnapped my lady right in the middle of the lesson but why the heck you did not inform me? With my help she would have packed everything twice as fast. X, but you also need to. Silence, I have everything necessary pre-packed for such cases, go to the pier while I help lady. She stomped inside the dorm while I stayed where I am, five minutes later. A mule like Sarah and Lilith with a bag exited the dormitory safely. What the? Did I not tell you to go already? X. Did you not use your brain to think I don't know where the pier is? I smiled. S. Sorry. My bad. WTF. Stop it, you two. Let's hurry. L. The boat already was at the pier and waited for us. The owner already knew where we need to go so without any questions he helped us unload the mule and set sail to the estuary. How deep the estuary is. Are there any shallows there? As long as you are not completely blind you will notice the few rocks that can break a hull. The rocks are the only objects that can strand a ship there. The captain enthusiastically explained the area around the estuary and even showed me the sailing equipment. The travel to the estuary was not exciting in any way. Lilith was constantly lying on the board and observing the water flow around the boat. When I was navigating with her she never had nausea. We departed at 9.50 am and now is the next morning. I am a bit behind the schedule but I keep watching the sea. What are you doing? X, just watching. Miss Delight, can you pass me some water? Lilith was still suffering and barely slept. Still nothing. Hey, Captain, can we drop the anchor at the estuary? Why would we need to? The old man was surprised by my request. After all we needed to hurry to the capital. There is something. Yes, I see a fog and that's a good sign. The captain followed my request and we anchored right outside the dangerous rocks of the estuary. It didn't cure Lilith but at least I am certain the rendezvous point is correct. What is that? In the distance the captain saw a smoke pillar. That? That is me. The battle cruiser enters the stage. I had to steam all the time ever since I talked to the principal just to arrive here. I corrected the course to arrive nearby and pick up the girls. So, ladies, take your luggage. We are swapping the ride. Our Gar V2CH48, the Leviathan arrives both Lilith and Xero were shocked to see a ship of this scale afloat. If they were super curious to explore my rigging back then, now I don't even have an epithet to describe their curiosity. If I did not shout at them for a few times, they would have actually tried to squeeze into the gun barrels. Either of them would get stuck almost immediately but at least they satisfied themselves by sticking their legs and arms inside the rifled liners. The kids were playing with deck machine guns and I even showed them how to use them. The kids played with the whirlicans installed everywhere and how happy they were to hug and swing on the 102mm gun barrels. I was impressed that the girls were not tired after they were running around till the evening. OS, I have a radar contact. I heard a few beeps before the radar shut down itself. What? They don't understand but it is not important. Inside the ship, now. I dragged them all the way to the bridge. Of course when they started touching everything in their vicinity I had to smack their hands. What happened? X, aerial contact, north, bearing 21, altitude. S, range and altitude are unknown. I used binoculars to locate the object. It happened to be a large pack of winged reptiles. All right, 
Flak shells loaded, guns turned. Let the missing begin. Bang 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 the girls were surprised to see how the 102mm fired. I was surprised as well. My range estimations and even accuracy were good. No, excellent. There were dozens of beasts blown out of the sky. Of course that was not enough but while they are approaching I should be able to fire one more 102mm salvo and two 76mm salvos. Bang 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 as the beasts passed the long range defenses they entered the pom poms volleys. At most only a couple of lizards were shot down by the fire and even though I shot down half of them it was not enough to take them all down. Boom 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 watch out. Wyverns are approaching. X, why there is an entire colony of them. L, bang tra ta ta bum bum tra ta poo 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 bum tra ta ta bang as the wyverns entered the range of all AA weaponry they started to take an actual damage. It is harder to miss a close target when you have a lot of shrapnel and bullets flying around. If I was to choose a MVP then it would be 12.7mm machine guns. After the suppression fire at medium range the pom-poms and oerlikans were out of ammo and their reload is so long. If there were no machine guns then my deck would be turned into the wyvern's playground. The pitiful remnants of the flock tried to escape to a high altitude but were blown by coordinated fire of 76mm guns. When I clearly exhausted all AA guns ammo I let the remaining wyverns flee. They are not my target here so I just continued steaming to the destination. I never expected something so powerful. At first I thought it is some kind of magic but now that I see what you look like, you had no issues destroying so many wyverns, could it mean you are powerful enough to disdain the kingdom itself? X, you can say so. If it will be required to protect those who are close to me then not even the entire world can oppose me. Well, they can just block my way with enough ships I wouldn't be able to move. My radars found a large number of surface objects nearby. When I looked there I saw a lot of ships near a harbor. If the map is correct then it should be the capital's port. I changed the speed and hoisted Kilo and Zulu flags then I raised the Union Jack. A number of ships began sailing around me as I slowly approached the port. Some of them were curious merchants from around the world, some were fishing boats which happened to be nearby, and some were sailing under the kingdom's flag and had a number of armed sailors at ready. Oiga ooga I buzzed the ships around me to clear myself the way. Neither of the military vessels dared approaching so with my way cleared I headed to the roadstead. I did not fire any salutes just in case. When I found a nice spot I dropped the anchors and prepared to disembark. While Delight was making her grand rival, hiring this fast boat was a good idea. After Lilith's return she turned from an obedient fiancé into a serious concern especially because of that woman. If I wished to have it done my way then I need to arrive first and present my view to his majesty. If I am first then he would rather believe me and thus I'll have some room for maneuver. The boat already enters the port so there is no way those two will mess my plans now. Our guy turned round and saw an entire block of buildings sail towards the port. It was a monstrous ship made of metal. The ships that were supposed to escort me were now sailing near the Leviathan. The largest warships of the kingdom were dwarfs in comparison with this monstrosity. And most importantly, I have a bad feeling about its arrival. V2CH49. The king comes into play please, this is not a hotel. No, no, no. I am not going anywhere. Neither does Xera. For God's sake, take your luggage. Neve R. Come on, we are not going to leave this place anyway, why don't we just stay here and rest for a couple of weeks, it's so comfortable. No, and stop trying to lock yourselves inside the captain's cabin. I thought that everything will proceed smoothly after we anchor at the roadstead but why would they want to stay here? Lilith and Xera flatly denied all of my pleas to leave the ship and now I have to fight them over the damned cabin. Mr. Light. If I show you my bare breasts, will you let us stay here Tilda? L, like hell I would. I am so happy we don't need to carry that luggage Tilda. X, 
like hell I did, I already carried those two to the solid ground and we were on our way to the royal palace, just in case. I checked if the invitation letter was inside the purse, in case the guards would try to hold me back then I will show them this letter. I wonder why you did nothing to stop her. I glanced at Xera, our intransigent morality fighter. It was my lady's decision, and also it let us stay in that fancy room. X, what a two-faced decision. It is fine if girls see each other naked when they change clothes. X, so it is wrong only when it is me who looks at her? Right. You get the gist of it. X, bored. Did you say something? She clenched her fists. The prick reached the correct part of her brain. It would be funny if Xera actually bandages hers. Lilith's theory is interesting but, Xera surely looks like it is the final glass of water required to sink her. At the gates of the palace we were immediately let in after I showed the letter. A couple of guards escorted us to the guest room where the king will arrive to meet us. How nice of him to meet us in person. Oh Tilda, I am so tired Tilda. L. How about I prepare you a place to lie down and X, if only there was a place where I could place my head it would be nice to lie down on a soft lap like for example Tilda. L, I see, give me a moment. So she wanted to rest. It is nice to see her sleepy face. Want to cuddle her Tilda. Meanwhile, why? Just why did she roll that cloak? I. I literally told her I want to lie on a lap. Is this not supposed to be like oh, my beautiful Lilith, please, use my lap as you want Tilda. You 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 you, back to the reality. Judging by her expression she must be really tired after all that sailing and traveling. She had almost no time to sleep. Poor girl, knock knock come in, please. A man entered the room. His Majesty the SHH. King of Marslia will arrive in a few minutes, please. Prepare to greet his majesty. Sorry. The man gently closed the doors. Less than five minutes later the doors were opened and a man in a fur mantle entered the room. This time, however, without shouting from the doorstep. Are you the ones who caused the ruckus in the Rose Hip Academy? M. Oh my. Suddenly we were turned into criminals. Now we are a cause of ruckus. Shall you settle down your position beforehand Tilda? Sometimes I feel like I use sarcasm a lot. Not that it will make me change my mind. It looks like you really are a bunch of uneducated people. When I heard about a problem in the academy I never expected that my son's fiancé and the future queen would be the cause. Instead of picking the fight with me he chose Lily. It looks like we will need to wait for a bit longer until the king arrives. A king would never be so rude. You better close your mouth girl, I can do whatever I want here. The man was now even close to the boiling point. I don't know why I enjoy this but perhaps it is fine. A tyrant it is then. I, I, am, thou art quite naughty to bethink everything is hath decided by thee. I am here for I wast hath called and tea is only mine own valour shall I hath appeared in front of thee. If tea be true there is nothing thee wanteth to speak of then we shall best off. I wonder what the hell did I spout but the man appears to have calmed down. I heard that Miss Evan was infidel to the crown prince and even dared mocking him in front of the noble children of the academy. I want to hear the answers. M. I wonder who you are to care so much about it. Indeed, all conversations like this are to be started with making an acquaintance. We are the King Went and Marslia. W. My pleasure meeting you. I am delight. Her Majesty's faithful servant currently, a student of the forementioned academy. Then, can you tell me what happened at the noble gathering of the last week? W. Bang suddenly. The doors were opened and a winded something jumped into the room while trying to catch its breath. Don't believe them. The crown prince makes his grand appearance. V2CH50. A necessary thorn? I was about to point out that the crown prince was very rude and disrespectful of the other's privacy but the king almost forgot about our existence. My son, I see that you appeared a bit late. What is the reason of you being that slow? 
The king was not looking to be too pleased with the arrival of his son, Your Majesty. I was about to arrive when a huge ship caused a lot of ruckus. M, oh my, if only I knew that my arrival would cause you problems. I never expected that we would arrive so conveniently in time. What ship are you talking about? I never expected such a preposterous excuse. W, he is talking about the ship of mine that is anchored at the roadstead. I knew something is off. M, indeed it is. Your Highness, barging in a room where people are talking and then shouting like that, I wonder if you were personally taught manners by His Majesty. Can you please stop making those remarks at each and every of our words? The King's smile was turning into a grimace, but who would teach the two of you the manners? They just kept silence, are you not the one who keeps? I glared at our glorious knight. Since we all are here then why not we start discussing the incident? Yes, yes, son, tell us what happened. W. Your version, he means. I corrected his majesty. For some time I was observing my fiancée and suddenly I saw how she became very close to the woman over there. Miss Delight and Lilith became so close that they dared flirting everywhere including in front of the other's eyes, when another student of the academy, Mr. Tyrion, approached them she was met with open hostility from both of them so I decided to keep an eye out in case they bullied her, it ended up that my assumption was correct, Mr. Tyrion was constantly abused both verbally and physically. Miss Delight even tried coercing her and blackmailing. During the recent gathering I tried confronting my fiancée and ask her to stop the harassment but I was coerced as well. Is my version wrong? Now he looked at me. Be so kind to share your version of the events. W, a question. How did you end up with Charlotte at the gathering? It is not a kind of question I am willing to answer here. M, so. If we are alone you will be answering? Yes, if you want we can go talk in a different room. Will your majesty allow us to step out for a private talk? The king nodded so we stepped out. A Claire found another room where we locked ourselves for a talk. I looked at the door to make sure we are not being heard but when I turned back to face his highness. Please, listen to what I say. He bowed down and almost prostrated himself. Question mark I want you to at least not deny my version. Please, believe me, it is for the best of both you and Lily. I know you are annoyed with me but please, I beg you, don't negate my version. M, Mr. Eclair, why would I want to do it? It's Michael, I can't tell you why but it is important. I am ready to promise you anything as long as you do what I asked you. I shall never bother you again, so please, please, help me. Now he actually prostrated himself, about Charlotte. She confessed to me. I said that if she plays along with my little spectacle I will consider her. Don't look at me like that. The worst kind of scum. I still doubt that it will benefit me. I can only promise you this much. M, so you don't promise to tell me the truth? I will tell you everything you want to know but now you only have two options. If you help me then you will never regret it. If you refute my claims then it will only hurt those close to you. While you are too strong for anyone to threaten you, they're not. They can't always rely on you. So I beg you once again, help me. With this he stepped out of the room. Just in case, I should prepare the guns. After all if I to back my claims with 356. Then everything should be ready. Ding you received 16 upgrade points, 7 copper coins, 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bow for single mount, replaces medium AA, 0 0.50 M2 Browning, replaces MGs, 1 modernization point, 1 skill point, 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bow for twin mount, replaces medium AA, HMS Delight. BC, mod, 1949. Upgrade progress, 1 tenth. Accuracy, 17 one hundredths reload, 5 one hundredths recoil, 1 one hundredth machinery, 99 25 guns, 
5025 equipment, 9925, main guns 1445 MK7, loaded, 08, fire at, 0, half, range minus 35 kilometers, secondary guns 445 MK19, loaded, 012, fire at, 120, range minus 18 kilometers, tertiary guns 350 MK34, loaded, 04, fire at, 2.2545, range minus 13 km, AA guns 40mm slash 56.3 Bofors twin mount, loaded, 16 sixteenths, 20mm MK VO Erlikan, loaded, 2020.50 M2 Browning, loaded, 8 eighths, Requiem, LVL1, Memento Mori, LVL10, Lidi Train, LVL4, on activation, 10s reload for next salvo. The following salvo has 40s reload. Can be activated every 40s. On activation, minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire. When this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it, 25% chance to completely heal this ship. Duration, 30s. Can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage. Has 58% chance of critical malfunction. I entered the room after the crown prince and sat down. So, did you two finish your talk? The king asked out of courtesy but without any interest in hearing our answer so we just nodded. All right. Miss Delight can now present us her opinion on this matter. Then I will make the final verdict. W. Your decision can only be approved by me and I hope you understand that my words are much stronger than yours. Why would you think so? He smirked. Because my words are backed with my power tilde. Everyone but the king started trembling. Do you think you can coerce me? W. Indeed I can, right tilde? Everyone fervently nodded. So, as I was going to say, V2CH51. Marriage affairs, fine, come what may. His Highness is not too far from the truth. Lilith indeed holds a grudge against Charlotte and I have no doubt His Highness' attitude really did make her search for some warmth. Can we be blamed for His Highness' silly actions? No, are we perfect? Neither we are perfect nor guilty. It is not the answer. W. It is. We did calumniate Mr. Tyrion but never did we beat her. Other than that I barely see a difference between our versions. Lilith and Xera both were frozen with their mouths opened. Then I see no other way but to punish you three for insulting the royal family, cheating on the crown prince, and possible. The king was pondering what to add and stealing a ton of tea. So I helped. You did wa khm and stealing royal property. I sentence Lily Thevan and Delight to never appear in the capital unless called by a member of the royal family. The engagement between Michael de Marslia and Lily Thevan is to be officially broken. Do you have any other comments on that? The king glared at me. So, will Mr. Tyrion become Michael's new wife? I already ran out of options, so she is the last candidate. The king could only rest his head on the back of the couch. What if I tell you she is already heartbroken and seeks my friendship? I wonder if I can have a villainess with me. Ha. Huh? Whatever. Just leave me alone. Damned women, every time I find a good wife for this damned son of mine, either they find an excuse to avoid the engagement or he claims they are not good enough. I even felt sympathy for him for an entire second. So. What are we going to do now? I asked the girls. You are now to go out of this room and let me rest. Whatever you need, ask this damned boy. W. Michael led us out of this room and to the room where we had our small negotiation. Can anybody answer me what the hell is going on? Right after the door closed, Xera raised her voice. I would like to know as well. You better not try to fool us. You two surely knew what is going on. X. We had a little chat here and decided to follow His Highness' version of events. Miss Delight, 
I am so disappointed. Why did you not tell us that you are going to do this? L, my sweet silly lily, when could I do this? She immediately calmed down. So, now that we solved it, will we get the answers about why the hell you sided with him? X, oh my, it is a good time for my payment, right? What would you need? M, gold, enough to cover our expenses for a few months. He handed us a bag of coins. Just the weight of that bag was enough to convince me that we are now rich. Phew. He sighed in relief. Did you think we are done? I reminded him about the second part of the deal. What do you mean? He stiffened. The truth. Yes. About what? M. Bang why would you want to set up Lily? I am ready to keep beating him until he starts thinking. Well, ha. Huh. I just want to stop those constant political marriages his majesty finds for me. I always have to act like a good fiancé and play a couple in love. Lily. There was nothing personal. You are a good woman and I hope we can remain friends but I just don't want to marry neither you nor Deterian. I want to find a wife for myself without constant nagging of my parents. M. Then why not ask Lily to break the engagement? Why do you think I would not try? Even if I did try, his majesty is so keen on finding me a wife that he would ignore anything but a crime. Only when the candidates were doing something very inappropriate he would break the engagement. He never listened to my opinion and thus constantly causes problems. Ha! Huh. When I heard that Lilith and Charlotte are the last candidates in his stupidly long list of fiancés, I understood that it would be my only opportunity. I am sorry to make you a part of this idiocy but it was my last and only hope. I also think that Miss Evan would appreciate the fact that she is no longer bound by anything but the morals. He suggestively looked at the two of us. While I appreciate your highness care, I would still like knowing what you wanted to do beforehand, Miss Delight and I would gladly cooperate without the need to cause us so much trouble. Lilith was saying everything calmly, it either means she really appreciates Michael's efforts, or she is beyond mad. Mr. Michael can try to make up for his mistakes by paying for our shopping in the capital. You will, right Tilda? The girls caught up to my devilish smile and the crown prince had no way to refute. Shops. We are coming. I doubt that the poll's result would change too much so I continued writing based on the current results. I hope it will not backfire. A side story of darkness and a cat no 15. Wildcat the friends as they like to call themselves, found a new mission for which they asked my assistance. Is it fine with you? F. Of course. I was created for escorting ships. Our task is to escort a small number of merchant ships down a river to its estuary where they will have enough space to set sail. We will be making sure the slow and hulking ships will not be attacked by pirates. As the only destroyer here I will be providing AA covering and ASW duties. Will there be submarines in the river? I never heard about such submarines but I need to be on alert. What is she talking about? F. Let's just say yes. It is faster and won't hurt. MG. Commencing ASW. Launching charges. What did you say about it will be alright? PF. Well. MG. Bum 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 as I was done bombing the submarine, I saw that instead of oil there was fish surfacing. Oops, the ships were close to their destination and we met no threats. I jumped out of the water to make sure the others are fine. What are you planning to do after we are done with this quest? Lane, eat? Anything else? Lane, sleep. Uh. How about we all travel somewhere and search for a nice restaurant to feed her? Lane, we have no money for that, remember? P.F., nah, it will be fine. Lane, how are you going to procure the necessary funds? I need to know what I should do. We will search for a treasure. M.G., what a great idea. Any proper ideas? P.F., yes. Stop arguing and look there. F., straight ahead of us, near the estuary. Where are the ships? Some of them were positioned right on the way of the caravan. I checked the fuses. Ship Footies a chapter, Dragon, Adventurers, 
and reincarnation. Fight with a dragon. The beast was huge, as tall as the top of battleship's mast. It must be a worthy opponent for even the most experienced adventurers. Many would run away just after seeing it from the distance. The sisters looked at it before returning to their talk. The dragon was just too weak for them to waste their attention. Of course, it was not missed by the beast itself. This disdain was hurting its pride so the dragon headed to them. It wanted to punish these ants who dared ignoring its majesty. So uh, that lizard is heading here. Should we do something? Oh, Munch, did you want to brush off this thing by yourself? The elder sister chuckled and started petting the head of her cute sibling. Oh, can I? Did you not want to do it yourself? The dragon was more and more indignated by their attitude. Roa the sister turned their heads at this hindrance. So uh, please, don't dirty your hands with this filth. I will handle it myself. Of course, if you want to play a bit then I won't interrupt you. Two huge turrets turned at the dragon and spewed colossal flashes of fire. Kaboom kaboom poor dragon had no time to even think about what happened. Adventurers Guild the guild's hall was filled with people. Some were eating while others were standing by a board. If I remember correctly, that should be the place where they choose their quests. Right now I am more interested in finding a registry. If I were to say the adventurers were undressing us with their eyes then it would explain what was going on. All the eyes were on the two of us. As I was approaching the registry a huge guy with a halberd stood in my way. Hello, ladies. How about you go with me and have some drinks? We'll have a lot of fun together Tilda. I wanted to vomit just from hearing that. Get out of So Er's way. You are not even worthy of licking her shoes. My sister immediately started glaring at him. If I do nothing then there would be one guild less. You filth, you dare looking at my sister with those eyes? Get out of here before I turn you into a stain on that wall. The man immediately withdrew. I approached the registry. What can I do for you? The clerk was looking at our chests with lecherous eyes. First you can gouge out your eyes. Second we are here to be registered as adventurers. The clerk immediately started searching for the required papers. Even without looking behind I knew that my sister was producing a suffocatively strong bloodlust. What could happen in the re-reincarnation? Elder sister. After opening my eyes I started to look around. I was happy to find out there were no wolves. A few moments later I was knocked down and someone sat on my back. When I finally managed to stand up, the unknown stuck themselves to me. The feeling was blissful so I did not do anything about it. I checked myself. And finally comes my gear. A diamond inlaid handle of the rapier immediately caught my attention. With a swift move of my hand the blade was freed from its slumber. While my movements are a bit sluggish, the innate experience is easily felt. I was about to test my new guns when the person behind me started dragging me somewhere. Just for the sake of doing something I fired the secondaries but the poor trees were torn apart before I tested all of the guns. Without any idea where the person is going, I followed them. What could happen in the re-reincarnation, younger sister? After opening my eyes I started to look around. I was happy to find out there were no wolves. A few moments later someone hugged me from behind. I felt how my cheeks started to burn but instead of trying to free myself I just let the hugger do whatever they want. I checked myself. And finally comes my gear. On the handle of the rapier were sapphires both large and small. The design is elaborate but it does not affect the handling. When I wanted to swing the rapier to test it. My hand was grabbed and the blade was gently returned back to the scabbard. When I deployed the guns I was astonished by their size. Just by thinking about their power I understood that it would be better not to fire them. After all, I have quite powerful secondary guns. The person who hugs me suddenly lifted me and carried away. Announcement The French battleship sisters still have no name. Feel free to suggest your own options. V2CH52 the vacation comes to an end after accepting the prince's generous offer the three of us spent the rest of the day making purchases. 
I was the only one who bought no clothes. As the girls became too tired to continue shopping we returned to the ship. While there was some time before the night we chatted for a bit. What are your plans for the future? L. I wonder if I would travel around the world. After all, today's meeting with the king left quite an aftertaste. You want to run away from the troubles? X. No way, no way. I just feel like it would be nice not to associate myself with the royal family is it not the same? Xera continued pushing me into a corner with her words. I wonder what your plans are? After today's events I might be forced to step down from Milady's knight position but then what would stop me from quitting the order as well? X, why are you talking about bad things? Let us feel happy at least for some time. L, what could prevent us from having a long vacation? The exams. L, the exams. X, why am I always the last person to hear about such things? Anything else I should know in advance. Tilda. I was forcing myself not to start swearing. Why, yes. There will be a ball the next day after the exam's results are published. L. Thank you for telling me this before it happened. I am so happy I was notified. Can you keep your sarcastic remarks to yourself, at least when you talk to us? X. She is just a bit salty, Tilda. Lilith chuckled. I left the two of them on their own while I went to check why the radars stopped working for the fourth time today. Also, I started warming up the boilers so by the morning the steam turbines would work at their optimal output. Our departure made as much noise as did our arrival so it was no wonder the ships were swarming around. Our guy was leaving the port and just for the sake of being an a-hole I turned the main guns at the city and fired blanks. Boom boom perhaps it will even wake up the royal family. Not that it is almost noon. The ship soon ended up in a current which was flowing in the same direction we went. Because of that I decreased the burn rate of the boilers and thus there should be no malfunctions. After some time I checked the machinery and the systems indeed showed no problems even at the top speed of 34 knots. If only the radars were showing the information without 10 minute lag. A couple of days later we were reaching the estuary of the river where we began this cruise. Captain and her crew thank you for choosing Delight Ship Line. Please, do not consider choosing us ever again. As I finally dropped the anchors in the estuary, the sonar started beeping. It would not be a torpedo and the majority of the local wildlife would not dare showing up here so I did not fire anything. I was right about it. A small group of weird-looking dolphin-like creatures showed up nearby. Both of the girls confirmed that they are safe so we spent some time watching the dolphins play around the ship and when the boar arrived to pick us up we returned to the academy. After a couple of days of lazing around the D-Day came. I was happily daydreaming in my bed. It was still early in the morning so I was just enjoying my time. Knock knock good morning, Mississippi. I prepared your breakfast. I hope it will be to your liking. Oh, there is a letter left on the tray. Please, read it. Also, can I do something for you? Francis conveniently showed up when I started sliming out of the bed. Yes. Francis, can you check my dress? I wonder if it is alright to keep wearing it or it should be washed. Yes, leave it to me Tilda. The maid cheerfully left the room to do the chores. I was eating when I remembered that there is a letter. I was wondering who sent it but then I saw that it was sent by the atelier where I ordered the maid dress. Knock knock come in Tilda. Oh, did that girl already finish cleaning the dress? He hello. I saw the blonde of doom. What is it? I tried smiling but I wonder if my face shows another expression. Miss Delight. Can we talk for a bit? Charlotte was unusually quiet but I don't feel like talking to her now. Charlotte, can we talk a bit later? There should be enough time for us to talk after I finish my breakfast. Thank you. I. D. Do you remember that the exams are today Tilda? She tried smiling while I was searching for something to throw at her. She managed to spoil my good mood. Well, she just returned me to the reality. The terrifying and brutal reality.
a side story of darkness and a cat no 16. Oxygen fuel destruction the people on the merchant ships started running around and swinging swords. I could not understand the point of their actions. Instead of doing zigzag maneuvers to avoid possible torpedoes the merchants were stopping their ships. The enemies on the other hand were erring towards us. Cure an army. Can you delay them? F. I. Engaging the enemy ships. I jumped into the water and set course to go straight at them. It will help me avoid any shells and also increase my chances of evading their torpedoes. While the merchants were standing still, the pirates were trying to approach and encircle us. If my estimations are correct then their courses should be perfect. When I was very close to the enemy I turned sharp to the port side at almost 90 angle. Splash splash two waves of torpedoes were launched at the enemies on the right and center flanks. The enemy galleys did not change their course so the boom boom two ships were hit and the others steered randomly but it was too late for them. Boom 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 as the enemy ships were torn apart I approached the left flank and prepared to torpedo the two enemy ships there. They already started maneuvering when I launched the first torpedo. Splash, splash, splash I staggered the launch to make the torpedoes intersect at one point, so even if they evade one, they will hit the others. Boom one of them hit a torpedo but the second evaded. The ship's captain was courageously grinning as he evaded the final torpedo. Splash, splash he will not be the first. Boom and not the last fool I sunk, a side story of darkness and a cat no 17 path of a cat the merchants were grateful enough to offer us some food for our escort, of course I wondered why they gave us so little but I did not insist on anything, what's wrong with her, don't worry about her, she just thinks you gave her not enough food, lane, the ships sailed towards the closest port where we will disembark and the merchants will continue their journey, Occasionally I patrolled around and screened them when animals and ships were approaching too close to the caravan. While I was on board, Long Nose Guy approached me. Why are you so grumpy? Did something happen? Lane. They said they will pay us but they gave us only two crates of food. Did you really think it is our payment? They will pay us when we arrive. This is just for us, you, to have some food. Now I understand. They are going to donate us these goods for the war effort. You understood what I said, right? I nodded and he patted me. At the port. What do you mean donate our merchandise? Where did you even hear that? I knew she misunderstood something. Why did I not check right when she understood immediately? Lane. In the end we agreed that the merchants will only pay for my dinner. I am happy they were happy. When the others announced what our payment is. After all, I was created to help humans. I know a good and quite cheap restaurant. How about we go there? The merchants' faces lit up even more. As we entered the restaurant, the long nose guy announced. Waiter, please serve our friend whatever she requests. Those gentlemen will pay for everything. Lane. As the time went on, the merchants' smiles were becoming stiffer and stiffer. They exited the restaurant with very dark expressions and sworn to never ever agree to feed Katkin as their payment. However, they still decided that they will be hiring Kurin Army if their paths cross again. V2CH53 The student of honor's responsibilities If there can be different options during the exams then mine would be doing everything my way. Amongst the main subjects I already had the etiquette covered. The arts classes were never attractive enough for me so my exam there will be but a formality. In the end I only need to do the science exam and both magic class exams. Simplicity itself. I should say. Maybe we should not? We should, I assure you. But. Listen. Why don't you just sign here and this exam will be just a formality. No. No, never would I allow you to skip the exam, not on my watch. Please, I beg you, just accept this A++ and go somewhere else. I don't want our entire range destroyed. Mr. Callins was begging me on his knees but it would be a shame to pack my guns when I already summoned them. For the love of God, reconsider that choice of yours. MC
Seeing that the teacher fails to convince me, the other students started searching for a cover. The guns dropped and ten tedious minutes of waiting began. Four guns were loaded while the rest did not. I was going to fire what I had but the damage control managed to open the jammed breaches of turret Y. Fire in the hole. Boom 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 high explosive shells scattered around the target area. They created a few craters but the targets were barely damaged. At least there was an effect. With my diligence and tears deserved mark I headed to the next exam. The theoretical magic was never a class where I was listening. All right, class. The exam starts now. Sensei, can you explain to me why the proportion of nitroglycerine and nitrocellulose is so important? And what would happen if instead we used common glycerin and cellulose? It is a funny thing that I am a teacher to our teacher. <laughs> that should be it. Sensei, did I pass? Mr. Frangle was anxious to know his mark. Yes, you understood this part well so it's a... I wonder if I would soon become the theoretical class new teacher. Yet for now I need to finish the last exam of this semester. The science classroom was completely silent. Miss Catalina finished writing something on the chalkboard and turned around. The examination starts now. Do not try to cheat, or you will face the consequences. The class was showered by a cold hateful glare. While everyone was mechanically writing something in their sheets and shaking whenever the glare landed on them, only three persons were cheerfully writing and occasionally exchanging glances. Damn the demon lord. T-S-H-H. Don't let her hear us. Wait till this monster steps out. Sure, try your best until she walks away. Thirty minutes ago, Miss Catalina approached me with a concerned look. You. Will not cheat, right? See, oh my, why would I? I am more than certain I will have no issues. The M moment I, I step out, they will. I don't want them to have troubles. Does it mean she is concerned there will be results nullified? Don't worry, Mississippi. I will absolutely make sure nothing bad will happen. You can rely on me. Yeah, right. Sarah mocked me from behind. What are you doing here? I thought you never show up near the classrooms. You will never guess who is the lucky person who brings here the examination forms. Also, step back a bit. You're the last person supposed to look at them. X. Why would you suddenly volunteer to carry the exam materials around? Do you think I enjoy the privilege of being able to just wander around without having to work? Forget it, I am done here. I will grab Miss Evan on my way back. With this she went somewhere else. Can. You. Look after. See? Of course. Present. The very moment Miss Catalina stepped out of the classroom it plunged into chaos. Everyone started shouting and running around. Yay, the demon lord is gone. Darty. What answer is for the fifth question? Clang bum and everything became quiet. As you can expect, me being Miss Lilith's friend results in me having a certain degree of responsibility to our science teacher. Here is the deal. You sit down quietly and continue working properly. I turn a blind eye to the fuss you made. Deal? I might not be able to release the demon lord or I like Catalina but neither of the students objected. Other than occasional I need to watch the flowers. There were no problems during the class. Catalina returned only few minutes before the exam ended but she was astonished to see everyone sitting properly. I would not be surprised if I get my own demon lord nickname but I guess now the mother would not hesitate in trusting Lilith to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. The mother herself is also quite adorable. V2CH54. A candy for the eyes. A carriage was going to the city. After the exams were finished, the majority of nobles headed to the shops to celebrate their yet to be known results. Of course I was one of such money wasting people. Can anybody tell me why the hell I have to follow you? Xera kept on whining. It would be inappropriate for me to be in the city without a guardian. L. Ha. Huh? Lily. Did you just said. That caught me completely off guard. Yes. 
I am considered her guardian when she is outside of the academy. Her mother is too busy to look after my lady so I bear full responsibility for her. X. Don't worry. It is just a formality. It is normal for nobles to have their knights act as guardians when the parents can't look after their children. L. Xera, how? Don't you f dare? X. Just how ancient are you? What the f did you just? With this Xero exploded and I had to use Lilith to shield myself. Wow, so direct. Lilith awkwardly smiled. You dumber. Do you have any reservation? How could you ask a woman something like that? X. From since you are? Shut up and die. Lilith plated armor super block. Miss. I suggest you apologize. It would be bad if your relations with your friends end up severed. Francis was also with us but she barely spoke anything while we were riding. Oh my, it would be a shame. I am sorry. You old hag Tilda. Tell me, when was the last time you had your face broken Tilda? Xera clenched her fists. Oh my, I suggest you use body strengthening magic and prepare to heal broken limbs Tilda. TCH, fine. Still. Why would you need me if you already are considered my lady's friend? You are of legal age already so there should be no issues. Also there is a maid here. X, my poor hollow friend. Do you know what quality of yours is the only one I appreciate and treasure? Aside from my genius and beauty. Ha ha ha, stop, right, now. X, Miss Delight just wanted to tell you that you are here to carry our purchases. Nice assist, Lily. Is that the only reason why I even exist, my lady? Xero's eye twitched. The carriage stopped near the atelier. Lilith handed me the money which she insisted on carrying by herself and we entered the shop. The seamstress was reading her magazine and ignoring anything that happened around. Oh my! It does look like we are not welcome here. The woman jumped up as soon as she heard my voice. Esteemed customer. I was worried you would never come back. W. Don't worry, we just had an urgent business in the capital. Which we between us like to call the great royalty extortion. After all we surely, ding, did not become poorer because of it. Give me a moment, I will show you the dress. W. The very moment the dress appeared in our sight, the reactions became divided. I was pleased with the results while Xera had her cheeks inflated as she barely contained the laughter. The seamstress did add some frills and laces on her own but the dress itself still had the perfect balance of being strict and practical, as well as beautiful and pleasing for the employer's eye. Francis, wear it. WWW what? F. Did she just? Xera and Lily were talking in the corner. Yes. She planned it from the very beginning. L. Make sure to stay away from her sick hobbies. X. Francis did not question my order and soon she was in front of us in all her made glory. The apron was only decorated at its bottom. Neither there were excessive decorations on the shirt and skirt. Her modest chest was safely covered with white frills but it was still recognizable. The decorations were not interfering with the movements. I chose the skirt to be long so I don't have to worry about it being inappropriate but of course it does mean there is a lot of space for decorations. A lot of laces were on the sleeves which can be considered decorations by themselves. All in all, I am satisfied with the result. It is a daring rethink of a maid dress. The maid herself started spinning around and checking the dress. By her looks I can conclude she liked it. Is it fine? For me to have such a dress? Francis was embarrassed but after I nodded she continued spinning. Listen, you retard, did you even think before doing it? This piece of sea will only make people laugh at her. X, you say it like I would care about what the people think. She is my maid and if anybody dares mocking her, then they can kiss my shining metal guns. Xera dismissively waved her hand and went outside. When I turned around I saw that Francis was staring at me. I stepped to the side but her eyes were still glued at me. I continued trying to escape her but she was looking at me with increasing adoration. I swear, 
If this was an anime her pupils would be heart-shaped. Well, as long as she likes it, and my eyes like it. V2CH55 between the maid and the villainous by the time we returned from the city Francis became incredibly irritated. I ordered her to sit on the opposite side of the carriage so I could appreciate the dress, while she wanted to sit with me. I wonder if she is more irritated that she could not sit with me or that I have the cat-like Lilith cuddling with me. As we returned to the academy we headed to the board where the results should be posted. I wondered if the results are there but before seeing them I saw Charlotte whom I so carefully avoided. Miss Delight. Evan. Are you here to see the results? See? Yes. How are you doing? Oh, I am doing great. Ho 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 Tilda. She covered her mouth with a fan and started laughing. It looks like the results are posted. No, they are not. See? Then why are you so cheerful? I wanted to be the first to see my triumph myself but the fate shipped us two together. Of course I am glad to see you and because you are here then why not you make yourself useful? I want you to escort me to the ball. She was acting weird, not that it is different from her public self. Well, her drunk and vulnerable self is cute so it is worth tolerating her. Sorry but. Evan will have her night. See, and you don't have one? I reminded her. After all, if Lilith has a knight then Charlotte even more so has one as well. Miss, she had her knight fired two days ago. F. What? K H M. So, as I was saying. C. No. If I don't cut all her hopes she will keep pestering me. But why? Charlotte's villainous stance was now broken as she started throwing a tantrum. You still owe Lilith for blaming her. Also, I am yet to forgive her. I. I never blamed her. His Highness asked me to follow him and be silent. I. I. If I ever knew about what would happen, I would never. Yes, right. It does not change the fact that you did it. Does the prince's love cost as much as your friend's honor? I know it does not. I know it would be a fake love. Yet, I could not say a word when I heard what nonsense he said. See? You ran away before being confronted. Please, I did not do it on purpose. I would not want to hurt Evan while doing it like a rat. It would hurt me more than benefit. I looked behind. Mr. Tyrion deserves a chance. L, you ended up pals after giving it a try. She should not be that stupid to risk everything for this. X, T, C, H. Does it mean I am forgiven? Charlotte started puppy eyeing me. My expression did not change. The radar picked motion behind me, two meters away. When my attention returned to the hurricane, I saw an obnoxious scene. Ho 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 Tilda. I will allow you to continue being my follower if you forget about that incident. Be happy about it. I wondered what is going on but judging by the drops of water forming in the corners of her eyes. She tries to act like her usual self. Well, her weird villainous acting does hit the nostalgia parts of my heart. TCH. I will not escort you but the bygones will let be bygones. Thank you. KHM. Don't be too happy. Evan. This time you may have one but the next time. Ho 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 Tilda. Her laugh still makes me dumbfounded but as long as the child is happy. The next day the results were posted, not worth mentioning them as they are too predictable. Thank you, University. In the evening I was finishing my trial makeup for the ball. Miss, stop moving around. I just need a minute more and it will be over. I said, stop struggling. Francis, my humble Francis, she became a monster the very moment I told her to prepare me for the ball. We spent only few hours choosing what I am going to wear. As I only bought a couple of hats, Francis barged into Charlotte's room and borrowed a lot of dresses. While the dresses were a bit tight, we managed to find one to wear. The makeup on the other hand, was redone again and again. Somehow my face does not look prettier with makeup on. In the end I became so tired that I just want to escape this nightmare but of course the very moment I tried running away. I was apprehended and now Francis strictly controls my escape routes. In the end, 
This was all for nothing as the makeup did not suit me. All or nothing never suited me to begin with. Wait, what the hell did I just think? V2CH56 What is fair and what is not the ball day approached and unexpectedly the pathways of the academy became deserted. Unlike me, the other noble girls were not prepared beforehand. As I had a lot of time on me, I went to pick up my princess. Knock knock the door opened and Xera's face peeked outside. You are not allowed in. X, is she not ready? Yes, I get it that you want to look at her but keep your lechery away from this room. X, bang Miss Delight. Please come inside. Lilith opened the door despite being only in her underwear. Inside, now. Just as Xera was done shouting, the poor piece of textile that had to struggle holding back the boundless round things, was torn and they were liberated. I turned away faster than I appreciated the view and before I had my eyes pierced by a mad knight. How was the view? X, not. No idea. I almost let out the truth. If you say so Tilda, you better be telling me the truth, otherwise. Yes, Miss Delight, I already fixed the bra. You can turn around like hell she could. If I turn around I will be murdered. My lady, go inside, and stop appeasing this pervert. X, my heart feels hollow. My hands started moving by themselves and groped my breasts. They are not small but I just feel like I caught a glimpse of something otherworldly. That roundness and size cannot be conveyed with mere words. I feel like I am just a plate in comparison with the mountain. Well, at least stop looking at my chest while groping yours. You're acting even creepier than usually. At least I'm not a plain glass panel. I had to wander around Lilith's room for an entire hour before she stepped out. I have no idea where she found a yellow one piece with similar design to mine but it's not my problem. Oh my! How sweet your dress is Tilda. Why did a lemonade cross my mind? I'm happy you liked my dress. L. Meanwhile, on the other side of two layers of cloth and a cloak, Xera, thank you. This was the best idea ever. With this everybody will understand that we have matching dresses while Miss Delight would not suspect anything. The cloak moved a bit, you 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 you. Why am I so unlucky? Why all of our plans end up like this, back to the reality? Lilith took a lot of my precious time so in the end we had no time to take a stroll and headed right to the ball. Sweets, sweets, sweets Stilda, as we entered the hall only a few people who stood nearby have turned to see who came. I never expected a lot of attention so that only meant that we two will have all the time in the universe to. Where do you think you are going? Xera gripped both of our shoulders before we slipped to the food tables. What is wrong? Guess yourself that nobody aside from you goes to those tables. Everyone visits such gatherings with one purpose in mind. Anything rings? X. I looked around and indeed. There is an entire queue to greet the greatest person in the universe. Baroness Lily Thevan. It was sarcasm, by the way. Do you think anybody would approach my lady? It is her task entering those circles to meet new people and establish connections. X. And with this I can help you. Charlotte sneaked on us without anybody noticing. Oh, no, I could have noticed if I checked the radar's status beforehand. Damage control. Move out. Not for free, I guess. If you will be part of my entourage today then I would have no way but to include Evan in my clique, for today at least. Ho 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 Tilda. Your answer Tilda? She winked. Just how the hell does that benefit you? Also, you can give me your first dance. You know how to dance the male parts, right? I wondered what to answer but then I saw how Lilith's eyes turned into glass. Sorry but. Evan, Baroness, making connections. Me, Viscountess, a lot of friends. You, student of honor, want to have some fun. We two dance while Evan talks. So you two have a lot of spare time afterwards. Your answer now? See, allow me to invite you for a dance. I wonder where from I have all the knowledge to do this but my curtsy and invitation were all perfectly fine. But of course, Miss Delight Tilda. 
I led Charlotte to dance while Lilith looked at us with an expression of a fish dried on the salt. What is going on inside Charlotte's head? Yes, 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 yes. I did it. It was worth asking that maid for a few hours about the dress. We have matching dresses. We are going to dance and we spend a lot of time together. Now everyone will acknowledge me to be her partner. Take this. Evan, you said I will never be a much for you. Now you will have no way but to be my friend. Back to the reality. While I doubted that Charlotte would accomplish all she said to me but right after we danced, she swiftly started dragging Lilith here and there to present her to some influential families. So, the minimum program was fulfilled. Shall we have some sweets now? Lilith and I headed to the food tables. Have fun. I'll be there if you need me. X. Why should I stand with the other knights while those airheads have fun? X, V 2 CH 57 Ghosts of the Academy After raiding the sweets Lilith and I went to the balcony to cool down a bit. Phew. That was a lot of sweets. Miss Delight. Do you have something to wash them down? L, oh my, should we drink some tea? I searched for the pymean tea bags. Your method is the most incomprehensible thing in the universe. Why you didn't buy normal utensils? L, my poor Lily, we don't need them. All of them are kept perfectly clean so you don't need to worry about it. I smiled while putting the leaves inside. While I was draining some water from the steam system, I checked the radars to break down twice within an hour. What is it? Lilith twitched and looked outside. Ah, no, it was just a wind. L, when I poured the water into the cups they cracked but at least the boiling water did not splatter. I guess the steam is a bit too hot tilde? Underscore carrot, what would happen if I touched it? L, well, if you want to have the meat separated from your fingers then go ahead. No chances of saving the fingers, by the way. I poured the boiling water from the balcony before leading Lilith out of the hall. Inside the building should be other cups and most importantly, a kettle. What is it? Why Lilith twitched again. I. No, I am a bit shaken after what you told me. I patted her head to help her calm down. Inside the kitchen we quickly found what we were looking for. Knock someone tried opening the door and now started knocking it. When I opened it there were no people outside. Hey. I looked in the direction of the call and saw Michael who was approaching from the hallway. What do you need? I saw you coming outside of the hall and wanted to see if anything happened. Do you need my help? I have no idea from since he became so amiable but. Then be so kind to boil us some water. We will wait outside. It would be a sin to refuse his help, right? The prince closed the door soon after we walked out of the kitchen and we headed outside. We enjoyed the night's cold breeze while the sounds of the party were an ambience for our own fun. Ping something hit the back of my neck. I found a dart with some kind of a liquid there. It is time to fake my death. I fell down and Lilith shrieked. When she was kneeling near my dead body I caught a glimpse of somebody approaching from behind her. Radar. Lock on. The person has a dagger and clearly is not friendly. When they approached too closely I pulled out the stiletto and parried the attack. Ah! Uh, I pushed Lily down. What the? The man was shocked to see I am perfectly fine. Before I could react he rushed at me and pierced me. I wonder how I should tell Charlotte that her dress has holes in it. Clink I pushed him back but the attacker was too fast for me to react and I was constantly in defense while protecting Lilith with my armor. Bang bang I discharged two 102 mm guns from point blank. After they hit, the result is obvious. What? Happened? L. More contacts. I pushed Lilith down even though she just sat on her knees. I opened fire with everything at any target that showed up. tra ta 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 tra ta 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 when a long burst of a whirlican fire mowed the line of bushes where a lot of people ran. They scored lots of kills. A few of the attackers survived but it can be corrected. If you won't surrender, then you will be the ones who test the power of my main guns. 
The attackers started running but the secondaries made short work of them. I picked a few wounded survivors. By this time the prince and all the knights arrived to the scorched square. Oh my, how nice of you to arrive so early Tilda. They managed to miss all action here. Who attacked you? M. how nice of you to worry about our health. I walked to one of the survivors. Who sent you and why? Do you think I will answer? The assassin requires an individual approach. By my guess point five zero BMG should be enough to convince them. A flagstone block was shattered, so was the assassin's stubbornness. The client is anonymous but we know that the target is the crown prince's fiancé. A, I would like to inform you that she is not his fiancé for an entire week already. You can tell me something else, or I will try asking your comrades. The one who answers more will walk away from here with escort, not carried away as a mess. The assassins started thinking hard to remember something to avoid the worst outcome. I can tell where the headquarters of this operation are. There should be the information about the client as well. One of them sold out everything. I clenched my fists. It was the time for a payback. They dead hurting my friend and now I will let out my inner fury. None of them will be left without some bruises. V2CH58 Requiem I walked to the river and launched a hydroplane. I tried launching one of them via the catapult but... The smoking pile reminds me that I failed. In the area where the assassin's headquarters should be I found a small mansion. Because of the weather conditions I can't tell exactly what is there but I am sure that there should be no issues attacking it. Moreover, the mansion is located on a large field with no trees or obstacles on the way there. If somebody was to try sneaking inside. Yes, it is the best idea ever. Michael, can I ask you a favor? Whatever you need. M, I want a lot of knights, enough to encircle a mansion. I found the assassins' whereabouts and want your assistance punishing them. It's not like I can refuse you. He murmured. With this we started the execution of the plan smart A. I arrived to the mansion area using the waterway. I will infiltrate the mansion and find the information, then silently retreat. By that time the knights should encircle the mansion and the final showdown will begin. While crossing the field I confirmed that there are patrols around but due to my master skills of sneaking, mostly called luck, I sneaked past the enemies and arrived right to the fence of the mansion. Just like Jack Lone I invisibly hopped over the fence and started making my way inside. The occasional patrols did not even try searching around and by using their idleness I started searching around the main building. That was quite a task, as almost every time I was near a room I had to hide from the guards. I don't know why I feel like I tried it already. I almost succumbed to my desire to just walk like there are no guards but I withstood. I searched the first and the second floors but to no avail. However, on the third floor I found a key. It must be the key to one of the side houses where the hideout is located. I exited the room. WH. Before the guard managed to squeak anything. Punch I a bit overestimated my strength. Poor janitor will have to clean this bloody mess. Oops. Funny thing but every door to the side houses could be opened with this key. Neither of them contained anything valuable to me. The radar is dead and doubtfully would scan anything underground. I had to continue searching. One hour later, the sky is starting to color itself crimson. I am yet to find anything in the side houses so I just started to snoop every nook and cranny of the main building. I just finished searching through one of the rooms on the first floor and sat on one of the stools. CRRRRRRRR I turned around and saw that one of the walls disappeared. There was a door. I have no idea how or why but it was the assassin's real hideout. There were lots of documents and instead of reading them I just grabbed everything before their owner's return. Exfiltrating the mansion was easier than searching through but I still barely avoided the unnecessary attention. I climbed over the fence just in time, as the guards became alerted of my attendance. By the time I started running through the field everybody knew that they had been attacked. Of course, it mattered little as I was already outside, 
As I reached the knight's circle in the forest I confirmed that the mansion is completely encircled and doubtfully any of the assassins could escape. It was the time for the climax of my plan. Lydite train, requiem, memento mori, all guns were loaded with a substance which could turn me into a crater. Either it is a miracle, or my luck glitched. I fired main guns at the mansion. Boom boom I overestimated the range. Boom boom two shots of lydite landed on the edges of the mansion, resulting in two huge explosions. Boom boom I shot too close. Boom boom the shots landed right inside the main building. The resulting explosion turned it into a pile of rubble. Ding new achievement. Fired full broadside of lydite shells without exploding. Three gold coins new achievement. Defeated the elusive assassin of Carter Guild you received 1450 MK8 prototype, replaces MG, 27 upgrade points, 10 copper coins, 40mm slash 56.3 Bofors quadruple mount, replaces medium AA, 40mm slash 56.3 Bofors stag MKI, replaces medium AA, 3 silver coins. 1 skill point HMS Delight, BC, mod, 1949. Upgrade progress, 7 tenths. Accuracy, 31 hundredths reload, 15 one hundredths recoil, 1 one hundredth machinery, 97 25 guns, 50 25 equipment, 97 25. Main guns, minus 25 to reliability of MG. 1450 MK8 prototype loaded 08 fire at 0 45 thirds range minus 40 kilometers secondary guns 445 MK19 loaded 012 fire at 320 range minus 18 kilometers tertiary guns 350 MK34 loaded 04 fire at 6.7545 Range minus 13 kilometers. AA guns 40 millimeters slash 56.3 Bofors stag MK I loaded 16 sixteenths plus 10 accuracy and minus 25 reliability of medium AA 20 millimeters MK VO Erlikan loaded 2020.50 M2 Browning loaded 8 eighths Requiem LVL1 Memento Mori. LVL 10, Lydite Train, LVL 5, on activation, 10s reload for next salvo, the following salvo has 40s reload, can be activated every 40s, on activation, minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire, when this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it, 25% chance to completely heal this ship, duration. 30s can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage. Has 50% chance of critical malfunction. A side story of darkness and a cat no. 18. Self-employment right after we checked in the guild. My friends were called by the staff to the conference room. While they were there I waited outside. The street was lively. Almost like back at the port, people were walking and talking. Hey, girl, are you waiting for someone? A man approached me. The first thing I thought about him is that he is fat. Yes. You are not very talkative, are you? The fat man continued trying to start conversation with me. I see. You are not interested in talking. Then, would you be interested in doing business? Judging by that sword, you are an adventurer and I am looking for people who are capable of doing a very specific work. Are you interested? FM, yes. The others tell me that it is a good idea to search for new quests, especially when the reward is high. It is almost like the missions the Admiralty issues. Good, very good. I want you to deliver me an orc fillet. It should be cut perfectly and delivered swiftly. I will give you a scheme. The marked parts are the ones that should be delivered. Cut them exactly how they are marked. I will pay only for the perfect meat. Any questions? FM, where to find and to deliver? Good. No unnecessary questions. There should be an orc tribe deeper into the forest. Find them, 
cut the meat and deliver it to the restaurant. There is only one restaurant in the city so you will not have problem finding it. I am waiting. Hoo hoo hoo. The man disappeared in the crowd while I went to the forest. A side story of darkness and a cat no 19. Precision after a short search I found the orcs I was asked to find. I approached them. A large group of green-skinned humanoids with pig heads looked at me and some of them licked their lips. I checked the scheme. No, your tongues are not required. I held the scheme with my left hand and compared the drawing with the real thing. Oops, my mistake. The orc stood in shock while I looked at its arm. I failed to cut it exactly like on the scheme. Slash that looks better. The second try was somewhat successful but the client said I should cut it perfectly. Otherwise it does not count. What? You were. The orcs were stepping back which returned my attention to the problem at hand. I need a number of perfectly cut orc fillet. I will not leave until I have what I requested. The orcs stepped back again but one of them remained in place. Slash cut chop I checked my work according to the scheme. Still, not perfect. Next. Slash cut chop next. Slash cut chop next. Slash finally, I managed to cut the required parts perfectly. Slash cut chop I cut another orcs fillet and I did manage to cut it just in time as there is only one orc remaining. I packed the meat and approached the orc. It immediately fell on its rear and crawled back. I looked around to confirm there are no more orcs remaining but this one. When I confirmed it, I faced the orc and bowed down at 90 angle. Arrogant goes Amos you. Thank you for your collaboration. I picked the fillet and headed back to the city. Why did the orc faint? The next people who walked into this place were astonished to find several tons of precious orc meat. All pieces were processed and perfectly cut but nobody could answer who left them there. At least, the local restaurants had a good supply of orc meat. V2CH59, the return of a not so old friend as the dust clouds from my firing were done settling. The knights around me had the scene of carnage unfold in front of them. While they were astonished by the sight, I retreated. It would be a shame if I would be stopped before I returned to the academy as my precious Lilith must be suffering there without me. Bang I opened the door to Lilith's room. Instead of the girl desperately crying in sorrow I saw how Lilith and Charlotte were cheerfully laughing while Xera danced. What the? Hey, you're just in time. How about you make us some tea? The ladies wanted to drink. X, W, W, I mean. Hey. My entire plan was ruined. All of my preparations to soothe her pain. Are they all in vain? Miss Delight. You you are. All of a sudden Lilith started crying. What the hell is going on? Lilith stretched out her arms and showed that she wants a hug. I remained frozen in place. Can anybody tell me what is happening? Well, don't tell us that we did not give you a chance. X? Xera put a hand on my shoulder and pulled me closer. Just imagine. You were attacked by a bunch of murderers. Then your friend deals with them but you are still there, requiring help. And instead of comforting, the friend suddenly disappears to hell knows where. Where the F you were this entire night? X? Wha? If Milady was not told to rest for today then she would already be in the middle of a lecture. Yet, you show you're a here only now and start to stir everything. Now that I am done lecturing you, go and hug Milady. She pushed me right into Lilith's embrace. Lilith's warm hands started petting my head. Who comforts whom, of course, soon enough I had to go and report to the principal. It would be weird if I were to ruin a lot of Academy's property and then would not have to explain myself. As I was done testifying what happened and what I saw, minus the mansion's spontaneous self-explosion, the officials started checking the evidence I found. Originally they wanted to do it in the capital but after I gently persuaded them with 356 mm harmless tubes they agreed to check everything required here, in my presence. 
and without taking away the papers. After the greased wheels of bureaucracy were done working the officials returned my property and returned to wherever they came from. Without having any additional need of staying at the principal's office I headed to my room. Francis, why are you carrying so many trays? Unexpectedly, my maid was running back and forth. Miss Evan paid you a visit while you were gone. I let her stay in your room. D. Did I make a wrong decision? F. No, no. Everything is fine. How is she? She searched through all of your clothes. As you ordered I made sure she will not open that place. F. Thank you. Go rest. I will take care of everything myself. She bowed and returned to her room. I entered the room and saw how Lily flayed all my clothes around. Oh my! What could you be doing this late? What? You? Don't scare me like that. She pouted. Should you not be going back to have some sleep? I checked the clock and the time is really close to the night. I must have spent too much time giving my testimony. Come on, let me have some fun. She was still pouting. How is your fun related to my clothes? I, well, I thought if I sniff your clothes it will help me calm down. Now she was fidgeting. Uh, well. Okay. Everyone has their tastes. This is surely not freaking me out. You misunderstood. It is just that your scent makes me feel safe. You are always protecting me so I thought it will help me calm down so I can sleep. L. Everything is all right, nothing will happen to you, especially now that I am here. I embraced her and caressed her head. Now, go to sleep. If something happens then I will come and help you Tilda. I feel like my smile is even tenderer than normally would be. I still can't calm down. I'm worried they will come again while I sleep. L. You don't have a lot of options Tilda. If you won't go and fall asleep by yourself then your body will fall asleep by itself. No, I don't want to. I will not go to sleep unless you sleep with me. She started throwing a tantrum. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I know one way to help you calm down. I opened the cupboard. Where did you get that from? Lilith asked me with suspicion. It does not matter. Let me guess, you bought it with our money? intense sweating her. You are insufferable. Give me a cup. She stretched out her hand and just after she got the cup with the liquor, she emptied it in one go. I followed her lead. One more. L. Anor. L. Waves the cup. I feel so liked Tilda. I wanna have a flagged Tilda. Well, is it not the time to sleep? A side story of darkness and a cat no twenty. New Horizon After I returned to the city I quickly found my friends who were wandering around. Look, Kuranami has returned. P.F. I did. Where were you? Do you even understand how worried we were after you disappeared? F. Guys. Am I the only one who's worried about that huge sack with blood dripping out of it? M.G. This? I was told to cut talk fill it. Oh. Really? That's great. So, what's next? Killing a dragon? P.F. Is it necessary? I wonder why they want to kill a dragon. Is it a new quest? Shut up. Don't give her more ideas. Everyone hissed at Pretty Face Guy. I need to deliver it to a restaurant. What did we do to deserve such punishment? After I found the destination I entered. What can we do for you? The waiter was on alert. I am here to deliver the fillet. What do you? W. A. Here you are. I almost thought you died like the rest of those blockheads. The fat man ran out of the kitchen. Now, show it to me. F. M. I handed him the sack which dragged him down on the floor the moment he took it. The man opened it and started checking the contents. H. M. M. F. M. My payment. I reminded him. Now, now, wait a bit. FM. The man carefully examined each piece of meat. When he was done he looked at me and exclaimed, This should be sufficient. Not the perfect quality but good enough to work with. I waited for the payment. You appear to be a useful assistant. How about I hire you to help me gather the required ingredients in exchange for being fed? FM. This does not look like a fair deal. 
PF. This does not have to be won, as long as I win the royal cooking contest we all are golden. Now, my assistant, follow me. I hope your hands are as precise as your sword is sharp. The man led me to the kitchen. Kuranami left the kitchen only a week later. The restaurant's owner counted losses for a long time afterwards. V2CH60. Another normal day of a reincarnated battle cruiser. When I woke up, I felt a bit warmer than usually, not to mention that my shoulder felt stiff. I have no idea how Lilith managed to end up in my bed, not to mention how we both ended up like newborn. I gently removed her from my shoulder and without disturbing her sleep, I dressed myself. As I confirmed that everything is all right, I knocked the door to Francis' room. Miss, good morning. Do you have something for me? The drowsy maid must have pulled an all-night shift to make sure we two did not get into trouble. I will be going so can you take care of Lily? She is still sleeping, so. You were. Well, not anymore. Still, convey her my greetings. I left Francis to take care of everything. W wait. Did I really miss such a chance? I left a pretty girl and did not even do anything while she was asleep. Either I am a good person, or an idle headed. As I reached the foyer I saw Xera, in a really bad mood I should add. Good morning Tilda. You surely had a good night's sleep Tilda. She stiffly smiled. Oh my. Indeed that was a good sleep. Though I should say that it was not in the meaning you attached to it. Speaking of which. You should be asking Francis if you wish to receive your dear lady. Anyway, I am going out. Key out Tilda. Before Sarah recovered from my tirade I left the dormitory. When I was at the square I saw a large crowd of girls. Of course my curiosity made me approach them. What do you need here? One of the girls turned around when I approached. I am just wandering around. What is happening here? Mr. Tyrion is telling us about a person she loves. This has nothing to do with you as you are not her follower. The girl clearly wanted me to go away but then some sort of a light bulb lit up above my head and the cogs started working. In the end, the sound of W.O.'s resounded in my head and I shouted. Charlotte Chan Tilda. Everyone's heads turned at me in astonishment. Charlotte was as shocked as everyone else. Why why you all are dismissed? She was blushing for an unknown reason. As the crowd dispersed she approached me. How funny, you searched for me on your own, without even walking into me by a chance or having me search for you. She was smiling but I poured a bucket of ice on her. Well. I was just wondering why a crowd gathered and then I heard that you were the one who gathered it in the first place. Can you tell me what you were broadcasting here? T T T T T T T this has N N N N N no nothing to D D D do with you. She lit up like a small M class star. I wonder if I am lit by her shining radiance of pure red. Oh my Tilda. I heard you were talking about. Your love Tilda. How about you tell me Tilda. Who he is Tilda. I wonder if I am too pushy. I, I am. I was called to the principal. She ran away faster than I could imagine she can. While I was continuing to stroll around, I saw something on the radar. When I checked again and again I confirmed that this is not another false alert. The number of objects is small but they appear to be large. Are those dragons? Well, there is no point in lamenting an accidental misfire. Bar bang bar bang bar bang well. It looks like I have 6 minutes until the objects enter 76 mm range. I still have a lot of shots left. Bar bang bar bang bar bang 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 Some of the shots exploded near the targets but with my accuracy the majority of them did not harm anything. I did not see the targets falling down so the results are quite pathetic and hash at it and at. Someone was shouting from my side but I am too concentrated on the radar, stereoscopic rangefinder and the fire control to properly hear the shouter. Bar bang bar bang bar bang 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 as the targets approached the hit rate increased but only one object was shot down. Eight targets are left. Bang bar bang bar bang bang bar bang six targets left but they're close to reaching the bofers range. Demons. Demons. Evacuate everyone. For a second I heard something. Nah. 
Better keep firing. The closer the enemy approached, the more MVP were the 76mm guns. Bum 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 as the stags began firing, the wall of fire became strong enough to kill the targets despite my low accuracy. Relatively low, Bofors guns were firing with deadly accuracy. Their radars allowed them to lock on targets independently from my other guns. As the last target reached the plain view I saw that it is somehow not dragon. Well, it still has leather wings so it must be something similar. As I wondered how to take it down I thought of a thing I did not do yet. Requiem. Memento Mori. When only two pairs of guns were loaded. I checked the statistics and oh boy. As I had less than the desired number. I had to aim better. Boom boom I don't know who is so crazy as to try and hit a flying target with battleship guns but here I am, firing at a bat like creature. When the shots flew near the target, it was stunned for a second but then it fell down like a rock while spraying its bloods around. There is a one small issue. Uh, where should I waste those two remaining shells? A side story of darkness and a cat no 21. The best ingredient is the most expensive thank you. You really helped everyone here. Lane, come on. P.F. Yes. Let's stop talking about this idiot's big mouth. F. You too? P.F. Thanks again. You jinxed our lives. M.G. I have no idea why everyone is so agitated. If the information is correct then we should not encounter any serious resistance. Deliver me a dragon egg. If you encounter an adult dragon, might as well take some ham from it. The task is simple so I don't see why they would be concerned. After moving through a forest we walked into a mountain slope. I tried climbing it and as it appears my evasion also allows me to quickly scale the rocks. Everyone was looking at me in confusion. We need to hurry. We must not delay the mission. Those civilians never understand that time is of the essence. I did not understand how someone could enjoy climbing the mountains but at least that experience now came in handy as I was done climbing and soon saw a large construction made of branches. Let's get out of here before the parents return. P.F. Maybe we should not touch it? M.G. Everything should be alright. There are no targets on my radar. I picked up a large egg and prepared to climb down. Oh, right. I forgot she is an alien. MG, the way down was a bit harder as my view was obstructed and my hand were busy holding the egg. On our way back we heard some weird noises coming from the mountain but everyone pretended to not hear them so it must be something ordinary for them. That is why I ignored the sounds. V2CH61. A music that overcomes love my life proceeds normally. I wake up with the first rays of sun study at daytime and go to sleep at night. I surely became a normal academy student. Oh, wait, I already was a student. After the recent event I was a bit awkward with Lilith. She instead became even cleaner than she was before. So, how long are you going to stay like this? I asked the girl who lied on my lap. I don't want to go anywhere. Miss Delight, do you have any plans? How about we go to the city after the lessons? L, hey, don't change the topic. But were we not talking about our plans Tilda? She smiled. Well, I am too soft to inquire further. My apologies but I had plans. Would the weekend be appropriate for you? Yes. Though you might have spent more time with me. She mumbled something but I could not hear it properly. It is not completely a lie that I am busy. I will go and spend my time observing Francis. It would be a shame to not appreciate the gorgeous dress I bought her with my fairly earned money. All right. Miss Evan, would you be so kind to let me go? I scratched behind her ear. No Tilda, stay here Tilda. You. Fine. Will you visit me tonight? You still did not compensate for leaving me alone back then. L, I will do my best. At long last I was free to go. I waved her and headed to the dormitory. As I was opening the door I felt that someone tried opening it from outside. What do you need? It was the girl in glasses whom I met once. I was just entering the dormitory. 
then you should not have any issues stepping aside. Did nobody teach you to give way to the people who exit the door? This time she was not as angry as previously, still it is a bit problematic to be treated like this. Can we talk for a bit? While she is rude, that should be the result of her upbringing. The nobles have a worse attitude the higher their position is. TCH. This great me has some spare time. We stepped away from the entrance. I just wondered if you have contacts among the government officials. I might know some people but do you really think I will just tell you anything? She already prepared to leave. Can you tell me at least something? The principal has some insight. Also, stay on your toes. I am not allowed to say more. She left. Well, it is a bit late to look for the principal. If nothing happens then I should just schedule our meeting. Before I reached my room I saw Charlotte. Normally around this time she is somewhere far away from the dormitories. Good day to you. Ah, good day to you too. You wanted to talk? Ho 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 Tilda. I am a bit busy but I can spare a few minutes. Or, you can come join my followers for today's performance. She really appeared to be in hurry but it does not mean I can't tag along. Of course. I wonder what kind of performance I will see. I followed her. Some new girls wanted to show how good they are with musical instruments. One of them even said she is a great Florinchai performer. See, what is Florinchai? Ha, huh? you don't know? She started shouting. Oh my. Do you know what Union Jack is? Sorry. Never mind what I said. See, will you explain what this instrument is? It is a string instrument. You will absolutely love how it sounds. When I first heard it I fell in love with it. Back then, we started discussing the musical instruments and neither of us noticed how we got carried away. We were really late for that concert of hers but nobody minded that. After the Florence I started playing its part. I was surprised how that L-shaped instrument produced an elegant tune while occasionally ringing. While I did miss France's everyday chores, I still am satisfied. I can't say I don't love a good tune, especially an exotic one. One major advantage of being me is that I can skip classes whenever I want to. That is why I sometimes become so engrossed that I forget I have other plans. I am sorry. I really forgot to keep track of time. I remembered I was supposed to visit Lily only after the sunset. As I said, I don't regret visiting that concert. Hua, am I really less important than a concert? Lilith is weirdly dissatisfied. Normally she is fine with everything but recently she started acting like my girlfriend, in all senses. If I spend all night here, will you forgive me? Fine. But I want you to sleep close to me. I just tested the waters but she really agreed. Well, I don't have reasons to be disappointed, do I? Yay. Arc 3 is here. A side story of darkness and a cat no 22. Terror from above the ingredient gathering missions were a part of my usual routine. I was no longer surprised to see I have a new task. Your skills surely improved. Soon you will be able to help me cook. Tell your companions to pack the luggage. We are going to the capital to participate in the cooking contest. The fat man accepted the final shipment of ingredients and now we are going to cook. To cook means to eat. To eat means to. Do you think you can pack everything just by drooling here? Go. FM. Yes, chef. I wonder why he wants me to call him like that. The next morning we arrive to the restaurant. I see you all prepared. Go. My assistant. You will keep us all safe. FM. With this we started moving in the direction the fat man said we should go. Why do you risk her life? You just sent her ahead even though she can be endangered. F. You say that a girl who can deliver me a hydra's neck can be killed by anything? FM. A fair point. F. While everyone was chatting, I kept watching the surroundings. When I felt something approaching I looked in the direction and saw flying objects approaching. Air attack. Begin evasive maneuvers. Boo 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 bum boo 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 bum I opened fire but no planes were shot down. Where do you think you shoot? They are way closer. PF, 
Boo 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 bum boo 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 bum the enemy is getting shot down. After they broke their formation they started flying like a spooked flock of birds. Am I the only one who thinks it is weird that she started shooting at ducks? MG. No. You are not the only one. Lane. Ducks? Oops. Sorry. Duck Sands V2CH62 Training is good the next morning I tried talking to the principal but because of how busy she is I could only have an appointment in a few days. As I had nothing to do I started wandering around the academy. Wandering around aimlessly is actually my common way of spending time. Whenever I attend classes I start to feel like I become the teacher. It actually means I have to work more than I'd want. Moreover. I have to do it for free. One thing is occasionally presenting the concepts and theories the people here would never discover by themselves. The other thing is that I am actually teaching them almost everything, even what the teacher should be teaching them. Not only do I risk showing the people the information that could change the pace of the development process, I already did quite a lot of disastrous discoveries for them. I already regret showing them how to make cordite. As there was an accident in the alchemy lab. While I wondered what I should do I saw a group of knights running at a stadium. I was curious to see what they are doing and of course I approached. When I was near a knight, I wanted to face palm. To think that I would not recognize this muscular and manly back. What are you doing here, Xera? Take a guess. X, attending lessons of how to be a knight? Fortune favors the dumb. So. Dumb. Willing to join us? We will have swordsmanship practice later. Our instructor will both give you a good beating and teach you how to use that dagger of yours. It would be stupid to waste this opportunity. Even if I won't learn anything, I will still have some fun in the process. You have an acceptable stance but you still have some things to learn. Your attacks are fast and precise but you aim for non-lethal strikes. Sparring is one thing but if you can't use your stiletto at any time or if you hesitate to strike then it might cost you your friend's life. You hear me? A scarred veteran with white hair became interested in me. Despite my infamy. Yes, sir. Watch how to do it properly. He took my stiletto and attacked the practice dummy. His attacks were elegant but deadly. While I am very confident in my wielding, I am surely not the best. Don't feel so disappointed, kid. For a noble's self-defense your skills are superb and with your good physique you might even take on tougher opponents than some knights. Now, show me how good you are. Imagine that dummy f your girl and mocked your tea. I, Rowa. I felt the rush of fury. Actually, no. I just put a lot of effort in repeating the instructor's moves. Stop copying and use your own techniques but with a proper stance and aim. Aye, that's better. Aye, Pierce 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 now try doing a series of fast attacks. Aye, Pierce 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 that's the spirit. If you want to continue training, then come tomorrow at the same time to the training grounds. The ones you devastate every time. I, might I ask why? Yeah. I, sir, if I may. She is just a dumber. Please, don't get mad at her. X, S, H, H. Fine. If you don't understand then I will explain. The stiletto is not your main weapon so I will show you how you can combine your melee weapon with your extraordinary magic. You remember what I said? The man was gritting his teeth. He surely is quick to ignite. Sir, yes. Sir, come to the training grounds tomorrow afternoon. Go have a dinner, you better get out of my sight as well, knight. Before I could look at Xera, she already was behind me, hiding, we quickly retreated. What a charming personality. If you tell that to him you might as well start digging yourself a grave tilde. Xera chuckled, is he strict? He was not exactly as strict as Xera told me before. Ha ha ha. If he was not interested in you then all of the knights would have returned to the dorms only by walking with their eyebrows. The arms and legs would not work for a couple of days. X. Yeah, right. I remember how often she is tired, which means never. Listen, Ironheart. 
You only scratched the surface of the demon instructor. Unlike you we all get tired and I mostly skip my lessons anyway. Do you really think I want to die young? I am yet to marry. I checked her from head to toes. The best bride of the world. Don't be shy telling me everything you think. Just don't expect me to hold back beating you. X. We did not even notice that we returned to the dormitories. Lilith was sitting at the square and chatting with someone. Miss Delight, Xera. Where were you all the day? Lilith chirped when she saw us approaching. I also wanted to chirp. To chirp what the F have you forgotten here? Your Highness. Can we help you finding the way to your dormitory? Xera outpaced me in telling the royal bastard to go bother someone else. Miss Delight. Can you please take Xera away? We have something to talk about with his highness. I have no idea why Lilith decided to do this but I have no way of affecting this. This time he may have won but the war is already over. A side story of darkness and a cat no 23. A bit of metal always greases the wheels after our group arrived to the capital the fat man told me to follow him. We soon reached a brick building and entered it. Why are we here? This is the place where we will be registering. The contest will be soon enough. FM. I looked around and saw that there are many people around us. Most of them queued in front of a small desk where one clerk was working. It is so inefficient. If this is how they register then I would say that even master's work is acceptably fast. No, this is the place where the assistants register. Speaking of which. FM. Understood. I stood in the line. Three hours later, fill in this form. Next. It turns out that I underestimated this place. My emotions got the better of me. After I filled the form I returned to the same queue which was only growing longer. Four hours later. Thank you. Please. Come tomorrow to have your request approved by the commission. Have a good evening. With this I finally understood that it will not be fast. Can it be processed faster? No, get out. The clerk's expression changed instantly. Slice wa. After the desk was cut in two, the clerk rapidly found all required papers and even filled them in my stead. Also, he gave me a document which gives me the right to meet the commission out of turn. The fat man was waiting for me at a restaurant on the other side of the street. That commotion you caused. What were you even thinking? FM. I increased their speed of work. It is truth. Hey, waiter. Give that girl whatever she asks. No more than three dishes, or else we all will be bankrupt by the end of the hour. I guess I did the right thing. A side story of darkness and a cat no 24. The best chef after few days of preparation the contest began. The fat man will be cooking while I will be providing him with the ingredients while occasionally helping him. I learned some techniques so I should be good enough. A lot of people entered a large hall and stood in front of a stage. Three people entered the stage and faced us. Everyone kneeled. That catkin is brave. We will educate her, your majesty. Not needed. Continue. I have no idea what is going on but. Greetings to all contestants. This is the first royal cooking contest since the employment of my previous chef. He faithfully served me many years but time flows unsparingly. The winner of this contest will become the new chef of the royal palace and will be able to live in the palace with all their living expenses covered. Now, announced the first contest. A man in a mantle finished his speech. If you win, then you will eat everything you want all the time. FM. The first contest is the appetizer. In every contest you will have three days to find your ingredients wherever you find them. All of you will be then cooking in this hall. You will only have three hours at most to finish cooking your dish. You can start searching for the ingredients now. A man in white cloth also finished. We stepped away from the main crowd. So, my assistant. I want you to find me the bellicose bindweed. Ask your friends where to find it and deliver me the core of its stem. Now, go. I will take care of the other ingredients. FM, he he he. This will be the best salad in the world. 
Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Announcement Sorry for no chapters today. I had no time and the road home took me much longer than planned. V2CH63 Combat training The next day after my training with the Knights I decided to skip the classes again. Of course. Lilith was not too happy about it and considering how spineless I become when it concerns her, I attended some of the morning lessons. Miss Delight. Why you don't want to have a lunch together? This time her puppy eyes did not shake my resolve. Lilith, do you not remember? I understand that you have an appointment but why not spend some time with me until you have to go? L, because I should be going now if I want to arrive in time. Sigh. But. She was going to refute, yet the decision is the same. This discussion is over. If you're alone then you might go play with Charlotte. You two were having fun together, so why not? As you say. Barker. Did she say something? I arrived to the training grounds a bit later than I planned. Judging by the instructor's face he was not pleased. Repeat the exercises we did yesterday. Instead of scolding me he just made me work out. While I was busy I checked if I have anything new. Ding you received 14 upgrade points, 4 silver coins, 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bofers stag mk2, replaces medium aa, 1450 mk9, replaces mg, hms delight, bc, mod, 1949. Upgrade progress, 6 tenths. Accuracy, 34 one hundredths reload, 25 one hundredths recoil, 1 one hundredth machinery, 97 25 guns, 50 25 equipment, 97 25, main guns 14 50 MK9, loaded, 0 8, fire at, 0, 75 thirds, range minus 40 kilometers, secondary guns 4 45 MK19, loaded. 0 12 fire at 520 range minus 18 kilometers tertiary guns 350 mk 34 loaded 0 4 fire at 11.2545 range minus 13 kilometers aa guns 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bofers stag mk 2 loaded 16 sixteenths plus 10 to accuracy of medium AA 20 mm MK VO Erlikan loaded 2020.50 M2 Browning loaded 8 eighths I am done who said you're done continue I yes sir I guess it is a bit too early to say I was not punished after I finished the warm-up the instructor called out to have some targets created use some smaller spells which can be used within short range the targets are human sized so I guess this is the plan bang 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 just how can you miss from such a range he was tearing his hair after seeing that only one shell hit to target well my secondaries are not the most accurate weapons. Should I just fire the main guns? He fervently shook his head after understanding what will be fired. Will this change if you are closer? I, no, just accept that only a third hits the targets. Fine. Set up a lot of targets. A large group of targets appeared. Now. Try attacking the targets with a stiletto but after a few seconds use the spells. I leapt towards the targets, pierce 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 bang bang boo 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 bum the results were quite satisfactory. A couple of targets were destroyed with the stiletto and a few were torn apart by the gunfire from point blank range. This is impressive but now you will be repeating this, again and again and again. I, two hours later, this should do it. While you are sluggish to learn, you still made quite a lot of progress. You want to train a bit longer or try the next of my ideas. I, go ahead, sir. Good. Try attacking some targets in melee and the rest destroy from range. All should be done simultaneously. 
three groups of targets appeared. Bang bar bang while I was piercing the targets in the first group I fired a few shells at another group. The results were predictably bad but I am still surprised to see that only one shot hit to the target. Boo 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 bum boo 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 bum as I fired a number of shots I noticed that only the first few shots are flying almost where I aim but the following shots stray quite a lot from the aim. I guess the longer I fire, the more recoil affects my shots. Can I have some time trying a certain something? The instructor nodded. Can anybody make me a huge, super armored target? Meanwhile, the gun barrels lowered. The B turret had a jamming which was immediately solved but the X turret had more serious issues with hydroelectric system and is now offline. Bo 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 boom instead of firing with delay I fired all shots in a fast broadside fashion. I was not amused to see that all of the shells flew in different directions. It is like if I hip fired a fully automatic .50 machine gun. I guess we can try again that exercise. The instructor nodded, even though he was quite dumbfounded. After I applied my new knowledge, the results were better. Instead of firing rapidly, I fired single shots from cannons and short bursts from automatic weaponry. That should be it for today. I gave you some ideas of how to use your abilities. I hope one day you will remember me with a good word. If you want to train with the stiletto, find me. Farewell, miss. The instructor turned round and walked towards the sunset. Sunset, sunset, sunset. I have a meeting scheduled, spoil a yay. Retrofit is available. What kind of retrofit should Delight have? She can retrofit her hull and her weaponry. Neither of these retrofits is without cons. Consider carefully. Hull. While rebuilding a 44,000 tons battle cruiser if impossible. She can have all of her electronics replaced with 1986 ones. It means that she will have less chances of having equipment malfunction. However, her age also will remind of itself. There are less experienced sailors to operate her steam engine, not to mention its old age and increasing number of breakdowns. Hull 1986 Retrofit Machinery Reliability From minimal 25% chance of breakdown greater than to minimal 50% chance of breakdown. Equipment reliability, from minimal 25% chance of breakdown, greater than to minimal 0% chance of breakdown. Accuracy, plus 10 accuracy bonus. Does not increase the stat itself. Weaponry, this retrofit introduces a lot of significant changes. Consider with utmost attention. While the main and secondary guns are not affected in any way, the other weaponry is changed. Her Bofors L60 are replaced with Bofors L70. The 76mm guns are replaced with BRTTTTT MK15 Phalanx. All of her Erlican guns are removed, it means that Delight loses 10 independently firing gun mounts. The Phalanx are a bit overkill for her situation. Also she loses a lot of flexibility of her Erlican guns. Also she loses medium range AA gunfire of 76mm. Unlike BRTTTT, 76mm can fire at 10km with ease, which is 8km further than Phalanx. Another significant change is about her scouting aircraft. She loses both hydroplane catapults and has them replaced with the helipad for Sea Lynx helicopter. The helipad is located right between her funnels and secondary tower and is a very, very dangerous to land on. The helicopters can search for submarines. Does not exist in fantasy world. Deliver troops. Does not exist in fantasy world. Carry ASM and ASW weaponry. Also. They are 2x slower than the hydroplanes which means they are worse at fire correction, and they can't land or be launched from the water, and with Delight's luck it is a disaster. Aside from all of this, Delight has MM38 Exocet anti-ship missiles installed. No idea what they can be used against but there are 4 of them for each side. Weaponry 1986 Retrofit, Main Guns, Secondary Guns, Deck Machine Guns. The same. Medium AA, Bofors L70, 8 twin mounts, 16 guns, light AA, 
MK15 Phalanx, 4 mounts, 4 X6 barreled guns, anti-ship missiles, MM38 Exocet, 2 mounts, 2 X quadruple missile containers, hydrolands are replaced with helicopters, catapults are replaced with helipad, collapse, V2CH64 Jokes of a fate By the time I arrived to the administrative building it was late evening but I still hoped I am not too late. There are things I should discuss with the principal. Perhaps she knows what the investigators found from my evidence. Also, the principal might know what bad things could happen. After all, that small girl makes me feel she knows what she says. Knock knock I was not expecting any response but the door was opened. Ah, it is you, what makes you visit me this late? Come in, you would not be in rush if it was not important. P, we sat down and now was the question, what should I do? Like, should I just start with a small talk or get straight to the matter I came here for? I heard you know some things that might be related to me. I figured she will tell you. I don't know too much so don't expect miracles from me. Weirdly, I did not have to convince the principal to start talking who that girl is. If I am right about who you are talking about, then this should not concern you. Next question? P. Why not tell me? Let's just say that if you are our student of honor, then she is more like our overseer. Do not mess with her. She is dead serious about this matter. Well, something is better than nothing. Any news about the assassins? Yes, a few days ago I was warned that they might be related to the neighboring countries. Someone even claimed that the recent attempt was supposed to be a signal for a civil war. P. Just how is Lily connected to all this? PSST. The king already started to take some actions. Do not be surprised if you are called again, you are. You are considered the kingdom's trump card. This is just between you and me, okay? The principal looked at me until I nodded. She stood up and headed to a cupboard. Do you want to drink some tea? We still have to talk about your academic issues. You did not attend the recent lessons. P. Well, I can try running away. We talked until the midnight. While this was not the most exciting talk, I managed to squeeze some interesting rumors. I almost feel like I am starting to have a picture but it's blurry to say the least. Because I have some time while I walk, I decided to enjoy the good weather and cloudless night sky. Ooh, that is a shooting star. I wish I, right when I started making my wish. The star turned 180 and flew back. I tried radar scanning it but aside from minor things like birds there was nothing exciting. It looks like the damned meteor just decided to not let me wish anything. One day I will have my revenge when my doomsday cannons will fire at the sky and bring down the stars themselves. I let myself run my imagination wild for a while but all great things come to an end. I returned back to this perishable world and headed to the dorm to have some sleep. Good night, kid. While I was dreaming, I heard a voice. It was familiar but not enough to recognize it. One day, you will understand, for now, and at hash and hash at and hash at. Before I heard what the voice said, I woke up. I was covered in a cold sweat. Right after I understood that it was something important. I desperately tried to remember what happened but nothing crossed my mind. That is what happened. I told everything to my trusted and somewhat trusted friends. This was just a nightmare, Mr. Light. The trusted friend no one answered with a smile. Yes, no doubt you were too worried about that incident. Did you really just believe some random words? Even Evan is better than that. The trusted friend no too lazily stirred the tea in her cup. I just feel like you're going crazy. Maybe the principal said something that makes you worried? The somewhat trusted friend was not concerned as well. Speaking of the principal, she is weirdly not talkative. I tried asking her to shift the etiquette classes but she is always too busy to hear me out. See? Why would you need that? I was going to have a gathering soon. As my followers you all are invited as well. I don't exactly remember being her follower but whatever makes the child happy. 
Why not just task us to attend? Is it so hard? Xera even shifts her attention so Charlotte is not the only one who is happy. You are just a knight who serves a baroness. Miss Delight might be worthy of being my equal but I am still of a nobler bloodline. Ho ho h dot 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 tilde I patted her back. Sometimes you should encourage your children. I surely did not do that just because of how her expression changed from I am the best to this just isn't fair. Well, having some time to eat sweets would not hurt me. V2CH65 Visiting the friends home while the students are not exactly obligated to stay within the academy, normally every noble leaves its territory only to buy something in the city nearby. It is considered an unwritten rule to not go far away but it is exactly for that reason we are inside Charlotte's carriage and are on the way to her father's estate. I wonder if your father will be concerned with me being around like I am. A walking death? X. Thank you for reminder. As I was saying, I am not the type of a person to respect anybody? X. Thank you very much. As I was saying. Okay. As it was said, I might bypass some rules of etiquette when speaking to your father. It is all right, Daddy will be glad to see I have new followers. I sometimes do wonder if Charlotte understands the meaning of the word friend. Meanwhile, the carriage drove past a large metal fence. In the distance I barely saw a house. I doubt it is a peasant's field. Nice fence. Thank you. Daddy always changes the fence every season. He always chases the trends. I looked at her in shock. I hope you do mean he just has four sets lying around? No, why would he? We just order a new fence every time. She looked at me like that was something obvious. I am sorry for the slip of tongue. I was going to say that this is a completely useless waste of money. Wow, is this the first time you said something normal? Xera indirectly confirmed that this is absolutely abnormal. While I prepared to start talking some sense into Charlotte's nouveau riche head, the carriage stopped in front of the gatehouse. Some people might live in such a place to build such two-floor house, with enough space to accommodate two complete families. Does the Viscount even have limits to wasting? It took us thirty minutes to just reach the mansion. All that time we were driving past large gardens and statues, all of which are either new or in very good condition. The mansion itself is a huge four-story building faced with marble tiles. All railings are made of golden metal, might be the sunshine metal itself. I'd say that not every multi-billionaire's mansion is decorated like this. Even the king's palace was much more modest in comparison with this one. In front of the mansion were lots of carriages which had to line up in a queue to unload their noble passengers. Our carriage ignored any queue and drove right to the doorstep of the mansion. As the door opened, a large crowd of servants appeared almost out of nowhere and greeted Charlotte. Welcome to the home estate. Young mistress, the master will be waiting for you in the foyer. What can we do for you? One of the servants, an old man in tuxedo, spoke on the other's behalf. Perfect. Ho 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 Tilda. Take all of the luggage to my room. Charlotte stood in a I am the villainous pose and started giving commands. Let's go. Daddy will want to meet you. The very moment she turned away from the servants she started behaving like a normal person. Well, that is why I like to have this amusing person nearby. The entrance of the mansion was adorned with columns and a little fountain built in the steps. I touched the water and hopped after the others. The servants were about to open the double doors for Charlotte but before they could do this, she pushed the doors and proclaimed, I am home. My eyes wandered around the foyer and I could say that I am surprised to see that the foyer is huge but is much less funky than I expected it to be. There were no crazy statues and no gold plates on the floor. While I was checking out the insides of the house, a man separated from the crowd of guests and headed towards us. The moment the man stopped near us, Charlotte hugged him. Welcome home, baby. The man petted her head. I wondered if the man who wastes so much money for nothing could be this one. 
He wears just a uniform looking like a military and a pair of sturdy boots. Young lady, you look at me a bit too attentively. M. Um, oh my. I just wondered if the wasteful man who owns this estate might be your acquaintance. Indeed, I might know him. Did you want to tell him something Tilda? M. How very kind of you. I wanted to tell him that the outsides are a bit too overkill. Ha ha ha. My baby found a very intriguing company. I wonder if this man has a good sense of humor. Daddy. How about we talk in a different place? C. Then let us go to the guest room. M. No, we need to talk in private. Now. Charlotte made me curious. Please, do not follow us. Enjoy the party while I have a small talk. Well, I guess my intentions were a bit too obvious. Well, if this did not work out then. Sweets, we are coming. Lilith and I rushed to the closest table with sweets. V2CH66. The Privy Council the gathering was going smoothly. The guests were dancing or chatting near many food tables. While this was nice and everything, I still wanted to know where is Charlotte. After all, she invited us here to have our candy stomachs filled. Lily, can you pass me that cake? Of course. Please have some of these biscuits as well. I tasted the offering and they are so yummy. What a nice choice. Thank you. Would you like to try the small cakes? Wait a second. Am I spoiled by her? But of course, let me try them. Not that I have anything against it, I savoured the sweets and listened to the music. Occasionally I heard some conversations. I mean, I heard that there are conversations nearby. I understood no words. Miss Delight, are you worried about something? Lilith started pulling my sleeve. Of course no. I was just savouring the surroundings. You have no need to be concerned. If you say so. She returned to the sweets while I wanted to go and look for Charlotte. I guess it would be faster to search for her than to wait like this. I slipped out of the foyer and started to search around the mansion. I was going to start asking the servants where the Viscount is but then I saw a number of maids standing outside of a room. My apologies. Can you tell me if Charlotte is here? Are you talking about the young mistress? I was surprised to see no suspicion towards me. Yes, do you know where she is? I bet she is not here. That butler is not here so they must be in a different place. Young mistress is in the master's bedroom. I am sorry but you cannot go there. Please, return to the gathering. Just as the maid was done showing me the way back, the door was opened and I saw the least expected person. Madam Principal, what brought you here? Mr. Light, R. Right, you were invited here by Mr. Tyrion. What are you doing here, so far from the food tables? I waved my finger. Wait a moment, please. I was the first to ask and I expect to hear the answer. Ha, huh, miss, you surely do love to get into trouble. I should not answer but knowing you. Come inside. That was easy. I almost feel my speech skills have improved a lot. Or my annoyance skills or getting into trouble skills. We entered the room and sat down. How much can you tell me? I am sure there are some things you can and cannot tell me. I would like to know a lot. I suggest you wait for the arrival of my actual conversation partner. I went silent and just waited. Less than a minute later, a person entered the room. It was the Viscount. Your Grace. Thank you for invitation. Will it be all right if... P. How did you end up here? The Viscount was hiccuping from fury. I have no idea what they talked about but he really was not happy to see me. I was making myself busy but in the end curiosity killed the lady. Due to the circumstances I walked into this room and now, here I am. TCH. Sit down. All right. Madame de Croix was invited here to talk about the recent assassination attempts that happened within the kingdom. Most of them targeted the nobles' children which had connections with the royal family. If I remember correctly the miss here also participated in one of such events. I have information that the assassins will try hurting my precious baby. I doubt you are worthy enough but I sincerely hope you are strong enough to protect Charlotte. Now. 
Go and make sure she is going to be alright. There is nothing more you should know here. The Viscount tried pushing me out of the room but it is a bit too hard to make me move. Despite his attempts I stood in the same place. What do you need? I have no idea why he turned so angry. I just want to know what I made to make Mr. Viscount become so angry with me. Viscount? Both the principal and the man asked in confusion. What? I see. Miss, I am not a Viscount. Not even a single pitiful soul would have enough wealth for such a mansion. I am none other than the Prime Minister of this country, bearing the title and responsibilities of the Ducal House. What? Then how? How Charlotte became the Viscountess. I gave my daughter a title of her own. Now, bang the door was kicked and it made everyone turn around. The girl in glasses stood there. Just why do I walk into you every damned time? She hissed. You, delight, leave us alone. We need to discuss a pressing matter as fast as possible. The girl did not wait even a second and immediately pushed everyone but me into the chairs. Okay, I get it why the principal here. I almost get it why the Duke is here. But how did you end up intertwined with this room's contents? I could not help asking. Go away, delight. I will find you myself when the time comes. For now, do what you must. Now I really was kicked out and I should say, just how strong that kid is? V2CH67 Between two fires after being kicked out I returned to the gathering. Charlotte was already there and was discussing something with Lily. Xera was standing nearby and with her cold glare deterred everyone who wanted to eavesdrop. Hey, you two. Stop the argument, she returned. X. Indeed I returned. Why did those two start a catfight? None of your business. Even if I tell, you will not understand. X, if you say so, Miss Bodyguard. Thank you for collaboration. She returned my mock and went somewhere. I approached the now silent girls. Charlotte looked at Lilith with a triumph while Lily gritted her teeth. Oh my, do not hesitate to tell Big Sis what happened Tilda. I will be oh so glad to help you sort out your problems Tilda. This. This is our own problem. Lilith avoided looking into my eyes but Big Sis' understanding face approached her by itself. Oh, come on, Evan, tell her Tilda, tell her Tilda, tell her Tilda. Charlotte spitefully giggled at the scene of me chasing after Lilith's eyesight. No. Lilith ran away and hid in the crowd of people who decided to watch the show. Oh my, I was a bit too insistent. I don't think so, Miss Delight. How about we go and make sure nothing will happen? After Charlotte mentioned it, I remembered that there might be more assassins. Unlike me, Lilith is a bit less armored, just a tiny bit. We found her very soon. She did not try to hide her tracks and just went outside to enjoy the night breeze. I sat near her and closed my eyes to enjoy the fresh air and the echoes of music. After some time I heard how the door opened and somebody approached us. I was expecting Charlotte but it was not her. A small figure flashed the glasses. Lily, I will be away for a moment. Do not miss me. She nodded and I followed the girl in glasses. We stopped behind the corner quite far away from the entrance. What did you want to tell me? I wanted to tell you. Were you not the one who constantly sticks nose into every affair? The girl was annoyed and I wonder if it is because of me. The at each moment becometh annoyed at which hour I am presenteth. Cut the crap, will you? She fixed her glasses. Like now, for example. Imagine yourself a fool who keeps making the same mistake. You're not funny. Also. I always wondered if you are blind. Oh, never mind. I just wanted to tell you that you are too passive. She stopped this conversation and went somewhere else. Just what does she want? Instead of thinking about what happened I just returned to Lily. By the time I returned Charlotte also arrived. The garden behind the mansion is so beautiful. We absolutely must go there. See? I want to sit here. This fountain is calming me down. L, I said let's go. C, don't want to. Don't want to. L, 
You do not want to walk there? I asked Lilith to make sure. Exactly. She nodded. You were. So I lifted her up and carried PPPP you at me down. L. With Lilith in hands we arrived to the garden. As I started walking around I felt she became limp, with how red she is. It is no doubt that's because she feels hot in this small room. Well, her embarrassed face looks so cute Tilda, Charlotte stopped and turned towards me. Miss Delight, don't you think that Evan needs to be? Pink two flashes of light collided in a centimeter away from her neck. In less than a second I spotted a shadow that was going to strike and somehow managed to block the attack with a stiletto. Either it is a pure luck, or a coincidence. Lilith had to be abandoned my dear but before comforting the girl who hurt her butt. I need to make sure that the assassin is dealt with. I leapt to strike but all of my attacks were parried. I opened fire with machine guns. From such a close range all the hits ping pew ping were deflected. Before I managed to react the assassin flashed and I barely blocked the dagger. When I saw it I suddenly thought about Tanto. Even though I am a bit awkward with the stiletto. I started to push back my opponent, yet there was not enough space to open fire, as if the enemy understood why I am trying to break the distance. They approached me again and again. Suddenly I saw an opening and kicked my opponent. Even though the attack was blocked, I both pushed them and myself which gave me enough distance. Boo boo trat ah boo ta ta bum I concentrated all available brownings and oh erlikens to kill the enemy. From such a distance it was impossible to miss. Some bullets and shells bypassed the blocks and deflections of the enemy dagger and the assassin fell on the ground. Not bad, kid. Instead of dying. The assassin stood again and spoke with the shady girl's voice. She removed the hood and indeed it was the girl in glasses. A side story of darkness and a cat no 25. A dangerous salad if the information my friends found is correct then the bindweed must grow somewhere in the forest of death. The name is too showy. It can only mean the people were too scared to research further. On the way to find the required plant we had to go through very dense vegetation. I used the katana instead of machete. While it might damage the blade, I would not have to waste time and speed for swinging one of the low quality swords the others carry. After I cut our way through a large thicket I saw a ravel of green stems covered in large spikes and long narrow leaves. When I tried approaching it I was grabbed. Don't you even try going there. Do you see the dead bodies? Those animals did not die here only because they wanted to. P.F. When I looked around I saw that there are some bodies but they are far away from the plant itself. Nothing blocks my way so I did not reconsider my decision. As I approached the plant I saw that some of the stems started creeping towards me. I stood in place and waited for them to approach. When they stretched out of the ravel far enough, I cut them away. The other stems started moving around chaotically. I searched for the ones that are thick and long to cut them. I will peel them after I gather enough. The remaining stems suddenly turned at me and tried attacking with their spikes. Cut slice cut with the initial gathering being over. I started peeling the stems. I finished all of my work in the forest only by the night time. On the way back a few of the same plants tried attacking me but they only were turned into additional raw ingredients. V2CH68. The terror in the sea I was very surprised to see that the girl in glasses was the assassin. Not to mention that I did no damage after firing from such a close range. She was smiling and giggling, even though we were fighting less than a minute ago. You think I am weird if I would be worried about the fight. I would not be standing here and waiting for you to stop being dumb. Just why does everybody try to? Why did you try to kill us? That was the best question I could ask. Did I? Do you think I am the assassin? If not, then. Behind those bushes, if you want to know it that much, I suggest you go there alone. I followed her suggestion and peeked into the bushes. There was a disfigured body. The girls looked at me, expecting to hear my verdict. You don't want to know. I glanced at the girl in glasses, she smirked and disappeared in the air. What, just what happened?
Lilith and Charlotte were as shocked as I am, was this a magic or not? Meanwhile, the mansion security arrived. We told them what we knew, except for the girl in glasses part, and went to Charlotte's room. The party was already discontinued because of me and the gunshots so sitting in the bedroom was the only thing we could do. When I remembered what the principal said about the assassinations situation, that the king might summon me again, I decided to take the proactive position and the four of us took a boat to the sea, where we will board the cruiser. I'm worried the king will refuse to help us. L, do not worry. But I am just a baroness daughter. L, you forgot that we can abuse the prime minister's daughter's authority. I looked at Charlotte. Ho 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 Tilda. So, Evan, do you regret not being my follower? C, are you not just a mean of having our voices heard? L, stop it. You too, we are arriving. The fast sailboat arrived to the place and dropped its anchor. The ship was already on the horizon and started slowing down. Charlotte's face was becoming more and more distorted with fear and confusion. When the battle cruiser dropped its anchors nearby, Charlotte was having plate-sized eyes and her mouth was agaping more. Mr. Tyrion looks as shocked as were we. Xera giggled while she packed Lilith onto my neck. Xera will ride my back while the semi-unconscious Charlotte will have to be carried in my arms. After transferring the luggage we set course to the capital. The ship was steaming across the sea. Occasional boats and ships were giving the way to the Leviathan ship. I was not worried about any kind of attacks. After all, the battle cruiser is just a less armored battleship. I was not surprised to see that the girls started running around and climbing everything. There were some significant changes while they were away. Charlotte, however, was not with them and just stood in place in stupor. The normally rowdy child is now silent as a statue of angel. She is a pretty angel when she is silent and standing. Because I myself had nothing to do, I tried moving her and after finding out she is like a doll, I picked her up and carried to the captain's quarters. I will play with this big doll to my heart's content. Lilith spoff when I was done playing with the large metal boxes and tubes, I went to the fancy room to rest. And then I saw it. Normally that annoying Charlotte only runs around and commands but recently she started approaching Mr. Light. This time, however, she crossed all the borders of common sense. Charlotte was standing in the middle of the room only in her underwear. Miss Delight was standing near the bed and looking at a number of frilly dresses which she ordered from the atelier. Miss Delight, what are you doing? Oh my, Lily, you are just in time. Could you help me choose? I have no idea what kind of a dress I should try on my doll. Miss Delight chirped while showing me the dresses. Every single person in the kingdom would try to contain the laughter after seeing those outdated relics of fashion but I could only sigh. I got used to her whims. Should you try the? I looked at their doll. Just what kind of a dress would suit her the worst? Green one? I cannot voice it but Miss Delight chose the color of vomit. Charlotte who previously stood like a doll and occasionally blinked, was now sweating a bit. I smiled at her. Should I leave you two alone Tilda? I wonder when she will be fed up with this play. If you want to. I doubt I will be done trying all of the dresses until you come back. Did she just? I wonder if she would want to have both of us. If that bee will try to leave me out then I will strangle her myself. Good luck to you Tilda. Try all of the dresses Tilda. Speaking of which Tilda. How about we dress Mr. Tyrion in one of them when we arrive? Miss Delight perked up. What? kind of a dress. I know you too well. If only you showed me your love in any way, the green one you are holding. I can feel that Charlotte will be happy to wear it Tilda. Good luck Tilda. Do not die of shame Tilda. Hoo 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 hoo. V2CH69 yet again meeting the people of power. We steamed for a few days and this time we arrived to the capital without unexpected adventures. As I turned to enter the port a delegation arrived. A large number of warships were meeting us and some even started approaching closer than it is safe for them. I scared them a bit with the horn but did nothing else. 
it would be weird to just open fire within the port area. When we were approaching the roadstead I saw a small cloud of smoke coming from a tower near the port. Then a small bang came from one of the escorting ships. Neither of them was an actual shot so I guess it is a greeting. I turned the main galloper towards the port, after all both shots were fired from there. Blank shots do not require the shell so there was a minimal chance of malfunction therefore I loaded all of the main guns and aimed them as low as I could. Boom 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 the shock wave was smaller than normally but it was still enough to cause some waves. I looked at the escorting vessels when they stopped maneuvering all of a sudden. The faces of the sailors were showing only fear when they saw what the broadside looks like. It took me a lot of time waving the signal flags and flicking the spotlight to make them understand that there were no bad intentions. Lilith and Xera were as lively as ever and even after all the time they spent here they were still exploring. This time they were barely stopped from climbing inside the scorching hot guns. Despite their excessive curiosity I am still at ease about them. However, there is a slight issue that keeps making me worried. Even after four days of travel, Charlotte was still unresponsive. To make sure she will not hurt herself I had to lock her inside the captain's quarters and every time I check on her, she remains lying on the bed without moving a centimeter. Lily. Can you dress the doll? We are going to get off the ship within an hour and it would be a shame to leave her locked. When I can't take care of Charlotte I send Lily. She is happy to help me with this so it benefits both of us. Of course Tilda. Ow, she's so sweet. That bee won't run away. Who 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 Tilda? L, did you say something? I was thinking, would it be alright if I borrow some of the perfume? L. Do as you want. Fuuuu when I turned around to see what happened, I saw a large smoke pillar coming out of the funnels. Well, I guess it is time to worry about another breakdown. What the hell is this? Xera ran here the moment she saw the smoke. This is nothing important. I just have a fire inside the machinery compartment tilde. R, okay. So, this is nothing to be worried about? Let's just say that if she knew what it means, she would be already inside a raft. While I was opening the Kingston valves to fill the fire extinguishing system, Lilith returned to see the scene of carnage. Is this normal? Yeah, get used to it. Is it me, or I heard Charlotte's voice? Bah, it must be a hallucination. I am too sleep deprived. I safely delivered the tourist group to the solid ground. Xera is always fine with walking by herself, she must have some cat genes which would explain her behavior. Lily, on the other hand, started throwing a tantrum when I decided to carry the doll around. T this is too inappropriate. Please, do not do this. L, oh my. Do you think there is another way of moving her? Yeah, look here. Xera picked her up and put her on a shoulder like a bag. Well. It works too. Please do make sure to keep the skirt down. I don't want to be seen staring at her A. Eh? I would have trouble keeping the muscle head night at bay. Considering it was not my first time visiting the palace I was not stopped. The king even agreed to meet us despite not having the meeting scheduled. The place where we decided to discuss the reason of my arrival was the same guest room we occupied during the previous visit. At first the butler tried founding a thousand reasons to make us wait but after I pointed at the doll and mentioned her status, he quickly remembered that the king will have some time soon. Indeed, he did. Just what in the world made you come here? The king was a bit irritated to see me. Recently there were attempted assassinations and as you can guess I want to discuss the situation. What do you mean? What assassinations? W. Just to make sure, sir, do you happen to know about a small girl in glasses who is very arrogant? I tried describing her, showing how high she is and everything. The king only shook his head. Fine, did anybody inform you about assassination attempts? Lilith and Charlotte were the victims as well. I heard there was something like that but everyone reported that a certain someone purged the troublemakers and I did not receive any news ever since. I happen to feel like he does not lie about it. 
then you have no idea what is going on? There is a thing at the back of my mind and it is related to the case you described. Just why do I have that feeling that I am going to be dragged into another exciting adventure which I can avoid? V2CH70 A dagger covered in sugar when I heard that the king knows something related to the situation I was relived. I want to clear all of the obstacles and then settle down in a quiet place by the sea. I wonder what you know. Do you have an idea who ordered the assassinations? Yes. Not too long ago the most influential noble families were competing for my senile father's throne. The civil war was barely prevented but the neighbors tried their best to bite off a piece of our land. W. Thank you for the history lesson. Can you stay silent until I finish? Recently the neighboring empire started raising troops and setting up garrisons on the border. It coincidentally happened right after the assassination attempt that targeted your friend. He pointed at Lily. Is she related to the political matter? Imagine yourself what would happen if the crown prince's fiancé is murdered and her place becomes vacant. It will rapidly turn into civil war, and the army is already in place. W. Smart. If only I was not the issue for them. I wonder why nobody attacked me or Xera. Yet, it does not remove the question why the D. I mean why Mr. Tyrion was dragged into this. That person only has one heir. Anything happens to her and the result is similar. All I voiced here is just a concern. Wait a moment. Are you saying it is a prelude to a military invasion and you are not going to do anything until the enemy attacks openly? Exactly as you said. Well. Morally it is questionable but politically it is justified. Perhaps I either become the softest of fluffs when it concerns my friends, or I do not see a bigger picture. Can you do something to protect them? From what I know they do not require any protection. Consider it a pardon for stealing from the royal family. Will you be staying here like a cower? Do not dry. The decision is already made. I can only continue to put your pranks inside a folder and hide them away from the ministers. Oops. Well, there is a way to change my mind and acquire a lot of support from me. W. I'm listening. Is it to slay a great dragon, free a princess, bring an ancient artifact, marry Michael? W. What the F did you just say? You are the only bride of questionably noble origin that remains. W. Do you prefer the palace shelled with he or my special, custom-made Lydite shells? Please, think about it. You will have all the money and support of the royal family. You will have your friends protected until the deathbed. Power, influence, wealth, anything. W. Lilith was casted aside the very moment a problem appeared. I reminded about our last meeting, and you participated in this, remember? W. Okay, I have nothing to refute this one. Not that it will make me change my mind. The meeting was ended, for today, and we returned to the ship. Tomorrow we will be coming again. When I woke up I felt someone cuddling to me. I was expecting Lilith but it was Charlotte. Oh, wait. The both of them are here pushing their chests against me. While I remember having Charlotte here, I also remember locking the door. Lilith somehow sneaks inside by herself. Rise and shine. I woke her up. Good morning. She looked at me like a sleepy cat so I couldn't help scratching her chin. MHM tilde. L, I felt movement on the other side. Oh my, good morning. Have you finally awoken? I looked at Charlotte. Oh. Yes Tilda. She finally woke up from her slumber. L, don't be mean to her, please. As a sign of my protest I stopped scratching her chin. Yes. When she accepted the inevitable I continued petting her. It did not take us long to return to the palace's guest room. Have you changed your mind? The king sat near me. About? The ma. W, refused. If you say so. He returned to his usual place on the other side of the coffee table. Still, being a bride is not so bad. W. No way. In hell. At least pretend to think this through. This old man really is desperate to find a wife for his son. 
can we return to a more pressing concern? Which is, W, dealing with the assassinations, like, they really start to make my life troublesome. We are doing our best to ensure the safety of our subjects. Please, inform the local town guard office in case you feel. W, fine, what can I do to make you do something? Oh, young lady, please, do be a bit more patient. Why do I feel like the roles are reversed? So? You can help us in the war. Use your superior magic to make the Empire surrender. W. You decided to start a war? Oh. No. Of course no. The Empire declared war yesterday. I came right from the meeting with their ambassador. I was tricked. Your answer, Mr. Light? A side story of darkness and a cat no 26. The salad missed to remember what I said and everything will be perfect. The fat man was giving me the final instructions. All of the contestants gathered in a large hall. Every team has a table and the utensils provided by the king. Contestants, you can start now. Everyone started cooking in hurry. Some were cutting the ingredients, some were mixing something in their bowls and only we were leisurely setting up all of the plates and sorting every ingredient. Now, do you see how the bindweed stem has hardened? FM, yes. You will have to peel the hardened outside until you reach the softened insides. Do it only right before serving it. Understood? He glared at me. Yes, chef. Start cutting these. FM. Unlike the other contestants we did not hurry and even though our salad is simple, I know what should be done to win. 2.5 hours later, everyone put away your utensils and present the dishes. Who will be the first? We are the first. The fat man shouted and pushed me towards the small table where the jury sat. That catkin, ha? Huh? Let's see. The king grinned. What are you presenting to his majesty? The current royal chef asked me with disdain. The chef's eye will cut everything that stands in our way salad. I placed the small dish with some uncut vegetables and a few stems of the bindweed. Cut slash cut cut slash cut cut slash chop bon appetite. Said I as the last pieces of vegetables and stems stopped falling down into the dish. Why, W well, it is a peculiar presentation. The king was smiling so it does mean I won, right? Crack them after all. The victory receipt was right. You will cut everything right in front of his majesty. Your swordsmanship should do the trick. Dash then why did I pick the stems? Dash well. The dish needed something conspicuous. Of course. The king had no way of rejecting the dish. Not with the sword's tip near his face and surely not with the table cut in two right in front of him. The salad itself was rescued before it fell on the floor, but it is a completely different story. V2CH71 Pure blood politics I wonder why I was not surprised to hear that I might end up in the middle of a war. There was no flurry feeling of fear. Instead of worrying for no reason I decided to come up with an answer. I guess there is no helping it. What exactly are you planning? While the Empire plans their land invasion we will raid their capital from the sea. That ship of yours might even be able to break through the enemy's fleet. W. Well then, you know that I do not want to be the scapegoat so I want a document to confirm our agreement. That person will arrange everything. Cherry. Can you go and do that? The King looked at Charlotte. Oh my. How close you are. I smiled when I saw her blushing. I cannot believe it. Did I mishear you? Is this a covered up sarcasm? Is this? W. How about we stop it? I will be back soon. Charlotte escaped our company as fast as she could. While she is away we have some time to discuss the actual terms and then what is necessary to do. So we went straight to the details. Aside from the protection I will have to make sure the guilty will be punished. Not to mention I currently only live off being a student and from Lilith's money. You mean the money we gave you? W. You mean the money you gave us as the compensation for your royal bastard stupidity? 
When I finished I saw that the king shifted his look a bit. An accidental bullseye is a funny thing. Just look here. My poor Lilith is still worried about what happened so how about? A title and land. That is the most I can pay you for your strength. W, a seaside property would be so nice to have. It costs quite a lot, you know. There are no free land plots there. Every worthy centimeter of land is owned already. W, hello, are there any imperial property agents nearby? I would like to buy some land for a mansion. Ha ha ha, do try to do this, there is no way you will. W, boom 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 are there any preferences of where it should be, or regarding the surroundings? Would you like a beach nearby? Now we are talking. Nice to hear you remembered there is a nice sandy beach with a forest and a waterfall nearby. Also with a good, already built, pier where I can drop my anchor. It should be worth it. Just bear with it. W. Oh, right. I will not be swearing my fealty to you. You 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 are. W. As I was saying, you will join the main fleet which will attack their capital. W. Will I just be a background for them or perhaps? Use your magic to destroy their capital. Then our troops will land and plunder the city. Is that normal? Your Majesty's plan is straightforward. Maybe she should destroy everything herself? The troops will not be required in such case. Xera too? No, I will provide some fire support against the fleet and castles but I will not participate in destroying everything. The two muscle heads looked at me in amazement. Did they really think I would risk exploding my A for the sake of their raising and plundering whatever they see? If the enemy comes they will not spare a single one of us. Your friends included. W. If I keep firing then I will turn into a floating bomb. No, thank you. I understand. What will you do if you decide to stop our troops? The king asked me with suspicion. Well, in case I decide that there is an unnecessary bloodshed then I might accidentally fire the main guns into a crowd of murderers. Just saying Tilda. He looked at me for a couple of seconds but the moment his gaze shifted to Lilith and Xero he understood what it means. They are the ones who have the most experience witnessing my firepower. Does it mean you want to turn into our enemy? W. No. It does not. I just don't want to see the unnecessary bloodshed. Seeing it from behind the smoke and distance does not hurt as much as the immediate sight. I hope he understands what has to be done. Fine, be it your way. However, if you fail to deliver me the results I want. W. Then I will be. Young ladies that accompany you might be a bit disappointed. I am mean. I do not threaten them. Calm down, for God's sake. It's just. They had a request so. I let go of his collar and stepped back. Very well. I hope neither one of us will regret this talk. Just saying. For now I will find some hot water to brew some tea. There is one condition. I turned my head and sent him Catalina's death glare. Michael will accompany you. Maybe you two might find some common interests. Perhaps even Ma. W. Bang Mr. Light surely does not understand this weird humor, your majesty. L, V2 CH 72. The difficulties of communication after Charlotte returned with a somewhat finished document and we filled in the rest of the agreements, the king signed it, with having a somewhat convincing paper we returned to the port where warships already started gathering, mostly there were galleys and some carracks. I used binoculars to examine the ships and confirmed that only the largest ships have some cannons, for at most, the usual weaponry of these warships consists of archers and there was even a blister. While the majority of the ships was docked at the port or dropped anchors at the roadstead, there were some daredevils who anchored near my ship. When I started loading the girls onto my back, a carriage drove towards the pier and stopped nearby. Two persons stepped out and approached. Daddy, what are you doing here? Charlotte looked like a part of a certain Norwegian painting. Unlike Charlotte I was more surprised to see that the king indeed sent Crown Prince Michael, your highness. 
I barely squeezed words. Not only would they hinder my time with Lilith but they will also interfere with my work. I am glad we managed to catch up before you set sail. The prince looked at me in satisfaction. TCH. Wait until I deliver the most important crew. I would be surprised if the king just sent them to observe me from the distance. There is no doubt they would want to find out everything they can so I just resigned. The men started to explore the ship, like everybody does. Meanwhile, I started making the preparations. I checked the weaponry, the engine, and the most important feature, the aircraft. I have no idea who had this ingenious idea of turning a normal fighter into a float plane but I still have to applaud them. It is an artisanal conversion of a proper fighter but it works marvelously. Even the landing gear is still there. After a lot of tests and the data from previous uses I confirmed that as long as the aircraft is launched it does not suffer from any malfunctions. So, I am the weak link here. While I was checking the aircraft the Duke approached me. Young lady. Are you going to stay here forever or the fleet will set sail? D. Oh my, did sir think it is done that fast? We will not be going anywhere until the morning. Why? What prevents you from setting the sails? Every ship here must be waiting for you. I could only face palm. After the several days of staying, the boilers cooled so much that even if I was to burn everything, the steam pressure would not be enough. Also, there is no way to kickstart the system. I knew we will stay for a few days here. So I decreased the amount of fuel burned and now I need some time to return to the operational pressure. They better be grateful I did not stop the engine, otherwise we would be waiting for it to start for a few more days. The next morning I checked if the other ships are ready and then hoisted Papa and Tango flags. The pillar of smoke coming from the funnels also has increased. I was making the final preparations for departure. Mua. Good morning. Mr. Light. Are we about to start sailing? Lilith entered the bridge half asleep. Oh my. Did I disturb your sleep? She nodded. Soon, the rest of the sleepy crew showed up. Some of the ships in the port set sail and slowly moved towards us. However, most of the ships did not understand what is going on. Oaga 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 out of the entire fleet only one ship woke up and started setting sails. The rest of them in this case will have to catch up because I do not plan to wait for them. I pushed the handle of the order telegraph to dead slow ahead and a bell rang. A minute later the ship started moving forward. What is going on? How a ship can sail without sails? I don't remember anybody setting them. M, exactly because it does not need any. Now, do not distract me. I turned the rudder to starboard and the ship slowly started turning towards the open sea. When I entered the desired course I increased the speed until we reached 10 knots, 18.5 kilometers per hour. The way ahead of me was clear and I prepared to increase the speed to 14 knots. OC. Brace yourselves, we are turning to port. A merchant ship crossed the trajectory, and to avoid the collision I had to turn the rudder up to the point of overloading the steering engines. Shriek per my turn so hard that it broke the steering and now. Well, as long as the other ships stay away from us we should not crash into them. When I looked at the following warships I was speechless, they were trailing behind more than a kilometer away. I measured the distance a few times to calculate their speed and then, you were. W what happened? L, U, 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 Six knots. Just brilliant. Not only did I have to repair the damned rudder but I will also have to snail at their speed. This F up cruise will last forever. V2 CH 73. A flying chariot of fire captain's log. Sea date unknown. I am stuck in this mad ship for more than two weeks. We survived the first week relatively well but now everyone but me is gone insane. I am the only one who is still sane. Food and water supplies are running low. All sweet supplies were consumed. Sometimes when I look at Lilith I feel she would be sweet if I eat her. All of my companions and random passengers have gone wild. Lilith and Xera locked themselves inside the captain's quarters. Charlotte and her fur there are nowhere to be seen. Perhaps they were already eaten. I don't care about the prince, 
he might as well jump into the water. What is worse, they locked me inside the bridge, the land is nowhere to be seen. Whoever decided to sail through the open sea is the shortest way might as well kill themselves. Kill. Yes. Kill. Kill them all. 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 If the maps are correct then we should be somewhat close to the enemy capital. After the first week we started encountering occasional merchant ships were sailing under the empire's flag and the closer we were to the target, the more of them we encountered. Unlike us. Six idiots who never spent more than a week in a ship, and we were mostly anchored. The regular sailors on the sail ships were fine and happy. Well, I will scrag them if they dare saying it was a short and nice trip. Knock knock Miss Delight. How are you in there? L. I'm fine. How are the others? B. One. Moment. Well. Her seasickness did not disappear, just not on my deck. I warned her. Knock 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 hey, is it so hard for you to open the damn door? X, yes. Even for my lady? X, yes. What if I tell you that the land was spotted? I opened the armored door of the bridge. Say hello to the world, psycho. Might it be the first time you open this F door since you hold up in there? Wait. I thought they locked me here. I'm back. Tilda Lilith wobbled and surely was not in the best condition. I heard something creaking. Ho 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 Tilda. Miss Delight, I am glad to finally see you. Charlotte was trying to hide the fact that she ran upstairs by covering her face with a fan. There are many stairs she had to run. So, you are sure that the ground is nearby? No, but the birds are flying near so it should be, right? Lilith's innocence is also her greatest flaw. I could only caress her head. I guess nobody understood what Mlady meant. Some ravens flew nearby. Well, I never heard that they are seabirds. X, fine, fine. I went back to the controls and began stopping the ship. I don't want to risk using the catapult so to launch the hydroplanes I will have to completely stop. Not that it would be hard with my snail speed. Miss Delight. Are you going to stop? Why? See, the hydroplanes cannot be launched while we are moving. Theoretically they can but. You mean those flying things? L, yes. I want to fly. L, I want to fly. See, Xera wanted to shout that too but after she heard she was not the first, she decided to pretend nothing happened. Fine. Which one of you? Me. They both shouted, which me of you? me. They started glaring at each other. Is it time for Big Sister Light to step in? Lily, wait for me there. Charlotte, I want you to follow me and be ready to help with one important thing. I sent her to the radio room. After I was done with Charlotte's crash course and tuned the radio station, I went to the hydroplanes. One of them was already lowered viaduct to crane while the other is waiting for its passenger. Lilith will be sitting in the navigator's seat of the plane. She has good side visibility so it should keep her entertained. Bags, check. Seat belt, check. Parachute, check. Why would I need the bags? She looked at me in confusion. If you dirty the plane with your vomit then you will be the one cleaning it. Bags, are ah, here. I showed her the plastic bags to make sure she understands where they are. I doubt that the planes have auto clean function so I wanted to make sure she will not dirty anything here. After a quick crash course on what to do in case of a rapid unplanned disassembly, I closed the cockpit and the plane was lowered to the water. Lilith's puff, wow, it is so cool, I want to know how it flies. From www.rrwrr the plane started coughing and shaking. I was shaken as well. Scary, it is scary. Comma pum Suddenly, the plane stopped shaking so violently and after final coughs a lot of smoke came out of its nose. Help me, Miss Delight, help me. It is burning, help me. I was crying out to her but she was only looking at my approaching death from the board of the ship and waved me. Help me. Uyum. It stopped smoking. 
and started moving forward. V2CH74, the vultures Lilithspofi was flying above the clouds in a wind machine. I got used to its shaking and rattling but I am yet to be used to its oppressive pushes when it is turning. From the glass sides I can see the fluffy clouds and in the clears I can even see the water. Sometimes I even could see the tail of the plane that flew in front of us. If only my front view was not blocked. Scout 2, report in. I heard a male voice out of nowhere. Mr. Light said that when I hear a voice out of nowhere then I should use this magic box. Scout 2, uh, here. Roger that. Scout 2. We are entering the search area so keep your eyes open and report if you find something. S1, as the voice said I started attentively looking around. Soon my eyes grew tired of squinting and I decided to sit back and relax. Out of the corner of my eye I saw something blink below the clouds. Uh, I believe I saw something. Give me the heading. S1, what? Where you saw what you saw? S1, over there. I pointed. Ha. Huh. To which side of you was the object? S1, to my left. Thank merciful master, she can tell at least that much. I am sorry? The plane started banking to the left. Over there. I saw a glimpse between the clouds but the nose of the plane covered it. The planes turned a bit to the right. Scout 2. Keep your eyes open in case we find something useful. Be advised, fuel is running out. We have only 20 minutes left until we return. Do you read me? S1, got it. A few minutes later we entered thick clouds and I could not see anything further than the glass. The plane started flying up until it flew out of the cloud. We were now even higher than before and I could already feel getting cold. Scout 2, be advised. We have 10 minutes left. We see nothing, what about you? S1, the same clouds. With each moment we had less chances of finding anything. Neither we found a land. Nor any landmarks. All right. Scouts return home. We turned around and flew back to Miss Delight. Those clouds. Why are they so fluffy and cute, yet so devilishly insidious? One again something glimpsed out of the corner of my eye but this time I am sure where I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. We need to get down. Roger that. S1. We dived into the clouds and when we emerged I saw a huge city on the edge of the sea. Holy yes. That's something. The voice was agitated and excited. So was I. Charlotte's Poff Base. This is Scout 1. We saw a large city in the search area. I suspect it is the target. It is located at Square S19, K8. Search area Bravo Golf. Ha. Huh. It was. C90. Kate. Search area Bravo Golf. When I tell that to Miss Delight that she will no doubt praise me. But first. I need to remember what was said. When she came I told her everything. Miss Delight. The magic box said the target is at T Knight. Gate. In Scorch area Bravo Calf. He he he. Now she will see how great I am. What the hell have they reported? Charlotte, are you sure you did not mistake? She was sounding irritated. I, Scout Flight. This is Base, report in. She pulled the pipe out of my hands. Base, this is Scout 1. We are returning home. ETA S1, what the F have you spotted? Where and when? She, S she is angry. S, sorry ma'am. We located the possible target. A city at. Square S19, K8, search area is Bravo Golf. S1, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Delights Poff you will stay on the ship. Unless Lilith decides to skip the second flight. She had one task. One task. Yes. I left her in the radio room and returned to the bridge. First things first. I need to plot the course. According to the map the city should be within 80 nautical miles from here. If I risk it, I might even arrive this night. I decided that I will be starting the coastal bombardment at the dawn so I adjusted speed. While I will be going faster than the rest of the fleet, it will not be a problem. 
After Lilith returned we all gathered in the captain's quarters to discuss the strategy. This should be all for the intel and the overall plan. Now, about the assignments. I want to fly again. L, and you will, while Charlotte will be making herself useful by sitting in the radio room. Our basic course of radio operator's duties will begin in the morning at four o'clock. Yes, my poor baby. The Duke was almost weeping after looking at the girl's disheartened expression. Your Grace will be at the bridge with me. Why? D, because you are here to observe. Next, His Highness. Tell me what to do. Michael was eager for his assignment but I could not think of any. The latrines are all clean, after all, you will be at the secondary post. Your crash course will be at 4.30, right after I am done with Charlotte. He saluted me. Xera, do you want to do something exciting and perhaps even useful? Absolutely. X, you will be operating the main rangefinder. Just follow his highness steps and try not to make the same mistakes. Ding new achievement, survived the fight against. Email protected and dollar hash and dollar percented and dollar at and dollar carried at you receive two skill points, ten silver coins, one retrofit token, nineteen upgrade points, one repair kit HMS Delight, BC, mod, 1949, retrofit progress, half upgrade progress, one tenth, accuracy, thirty four one hundredths reload, forty one hundredths recoil. 5 one hundredths machinery, 97 25 guns, 50 25 equipment, 97 25, main guns 14 50 MK9 loaded, 0 8 fire at, 1, 2 thirds, range minus 40 kilometers, secondary guns 4 45 MK19 loaded, 0 12 fire at, 8 20, range minus 18 kilometers, Tertiary guns 350 MK34 loaded, 04 4 fire at, 18.45, range minus 13 km, AA guns 40 mm slash 56.3 Bofors Stag MK2 loaded, 16 16 plus 10 to accuracy of medium AA 20 mm MK VO Erlikan loaded, 2020.50 M2 Browning loaded. 8 eighths, Requiem, LVL 1, Memento Mori, LVL 10, Lydite Train, LVL 7, on activation, 10's reload for next salvo, the following salvo has 40's reload, can be activated every 40's, on activation, minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire, when this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it. 25% chance to completely heal this ship. Duration, 30s, can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage. Has 34% chance of critical malfunction. A side story of darkness and a cat no 27. The perfect state. The second contest was supposed to be the main dish. This time the fat man decided to procure the ingredients himself so I was left with nothing to do. Three days of petting and sleep later. Contestants, make us the perfect dish. As always everyone rushed cooking but I could not because the fat man was nowhere to be seen. Two hours left. After the announcement I started to worry. One hour left. Now it was not even a worry. Bang the doors were loudly opened and the fat man rushed in with something behind him. It was a huge cage with a few orcs inside. Sorry for being late. Now, my assistant. We had no time to prepare the ingredients beforehand so please make yourself useful. You remember where to cut? I nodded. Are they going to? They dared bringing monsters inside the palace? Outrageous. I opened the cage and when one of the orcs tried rushing out I turned him into two perfect stakes. Faster, please. We are behind the schedule. FM, yes, chef. Cut slash chop with the orcs being turned into a plate of raw steaks I began sousing them. My attention was caught by the fact that I heard no sounds after I started cooking. 
I looked around and saw that everybody was looking at us with their eyes wide open. Not that it matters. W what are why you PPP presses scenting? The current royal chef was weirdly quiet today. Allow me to present our special dish, teriyaki orc steak. My assistant is master of making the most unorthodox dishes. Bon appetite. FM. Needless to say that with the Sigura special cooking techniques we could not lose. V2CH75. T minus 20 minutes with loud coughing two engines started up and soon roared. Two scout hydroplanes accelerated and disappeared in the distance. All stations. We are accelerating. I set full ahead and after a ring the ship pleasurely steamed forward. Radio. Report. Lilith says everything is fine. See. Secondary tower? A bit smoky but other than that, everything is fine. M. Main range finder? Is it fine? Like, it wobbles here all the time. X. Supervisor? I turn to the Duke. What are you going to do if you end up overwhelmed? The main fleet is far behind, after all. D. It will be alright. Also, I suggest you do not step outside. Why? He was confused by my request. You will become deaf if you stay there when the firefight begins. If you say so. He did not try to argue. In ten minutes time we were already steaming at thirty knots. Lilith spoff this time we found the Empire's capital very fast. Our task is to find anything worthy of Miss Delight's power. Most of the work was done by the other plane so I was enjoying the sight. Siberia CC. A fortress. HB and IB appear to be a governmental structure. The port is filled with ships. Cannot tell what they are. Over. S1. After a closer look at the port I understood why the Empire was said to have the most powerful fleet. Long lines of battleships and galleys were stationed at the roadstead. Yet there is something missing. Scout 2. Stop daydreaming. S1. Yes. Uh. Charlotte. Are you there? Yes. See, tell Miss Delight that the majority of the enemy fleet is here. There are battleships, more than thirty, and there are countless galleys. Got it. See, Delight's poor fall hands, man the battle stations. It was time for the fight. We are in thirty naval miles so it is time to prepare. The speed was decreased to twenty-four knots and the guns are now loading. All of the radars were dead so I will only be corrected by the scouts. Get ready. We are about to start. I bought technical inspection which lowers my malfunction chances by 25% and prepared to spend a ton of money to buy repair kits. X turret had a jam. Luckily it was quickly solved by the damage control. They even managed to return the radars back to life. Let's drop some lead on those mother of Boom 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 Lilith spoff in a distance I saw a pillar of smoke and the plane set course to the port where they started to circle. Got it. Scout 2. Get ready. S1. What is going on? Boom pum 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 boom pum 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 base. Spread nominal. Two ships were hit. Over. The Duke's spoff spread nominal. Two ships were hit. My baby's voice was coming seemingly out of nowhere. I looked at the bride-to-be and she was looking proud of herself. Firing. I closed my ears to protect myself from the thunderous sound. Boom 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 the entire ship was shaken and for a second I almost saw the bottom of the sea. Eight huge pipes fell down and in a minute rose again. Angle correction. Seven to the southwest. One target was torn apart. The rest missed. I hope you will be happy with your choice. Xeras Poff in a distance I barely saw the tops of masts of some merchant ships firing. I grabbed something and then the ship shook. Boom 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 I only saw some blue traces flying over the horizon. Michael's Poff firing. I closed my ears before the guns fired. Boom boom boom. Is that it? Boom my ears. Sorry for the delay, the repairs were a bit late. Lilith's Poff base, they went everywhere. A few near hits but other than that no damage. The enemy ships are setting up the sails. They are not moving yet but soon they will. Over. S1, the pillar of smoke was slowly approaching and every couple of minutes the water near the ships was shooting upwards. 
Pum 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 Mr. Light, come on, you can do it. Evan, don't shout that to me. See, sorry, no hits. It was super inaccurate. Aha, uh -huh. next salvo incoming, she said. See, pum boom pum 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 boom bass, spread nominal. One target is straddled and one was torn apart. Over. S1, roger that. We entered the visual range. Over. See, Xeras Pofang. It is 18,000 yards. What's that? Got it. Firing four inches. Bang 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 hits are before the target. Uh. Dry. 18,500 yards. Bang 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 I saw splashes around the target and some fire. We hit it. Got it. Good work. Well. She at least knows how to thank for the hard work. Bang 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 good hits. Good measurements. Are we ready to fire the main dish? What? The hell she's talking about? Bah, whatever. What's the range? Uh, 17,500 yards. Bang 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 good hits. Firing. I grabbed a pipe before it's too late. Boom 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 a side story of darkness and a cat no 28. A huntress passion for the final dish the fat man wants to use the wife and eggs. Where can we find them? I could only ask one human. Do you remember that one time we went to a lake to hunt a... Guys. How did she call them? PF. Submarines. F. Yes. Right. So. These submarines lay eggs on the bottom of lakes and thus we need to find a good body of water. PF. Soon we found a large lake. On the beach were slithering long reptiles, similar to the dragons of the Dragon Empire. So many wyverns. F. Curan army. Do you see them? These wyverns are what you need to who? P. F. Bang 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 task understood. Commencing attack. Preparing for all-out assault. Right before the all-out assault was fired, the targets dived into the lake. If you want it so much. I don't like that smile. F. I never thought she'd smile like that. Lane. Ping. 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 Ping 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 pew 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 depth charges. Shot. Bum 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 first one is ready. The next. While I was busy with ASW, a couple of submarines surfaced near my friends. Instead of attacking them, the monsters started squirming. Am I the only one who thinks they are begging for mercy? P.F. I would too, you saw her face, didn't you? F, give her the eggs, just give her the eggs and she will leave you alone. Lane, whatever, pew pew pew, we gathered the eggs. Cure an army, the mission is over, return. But, but I was just getting started. Bum 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 come here. But there are still a few more submarines. It is not fair, just like that. I was rudely interrupted before I dropped all of the depth charges. A side story of darkness and a cat no 29. Easy as pie contestants. Make us the perfect dessert. You, just stay there and don't cause trouble. Please. Chef? I looked at the fat man. Now, my assistant, separate the eggs whites and start whisking them. They won't say a word unless you step away from the bowl. FM. I started doing what the fat man said and after the rest of the ingredients were added I gave him the finished dough. Good, very good. You made a considerable progress since the first time. Now, make me the cream. While he was making the cake itself I returned to whisking. The other teams were looking at us with envy and concern. It must be because I feel greatly motivated by the fact that I will be eating all the time if we win so I estimate my cooking efficiency to be 104%. How is your progress? The royal chef approached us and curiously looked at the cream. The preparation is on schedule. I had to look at him because my friends kept on telling me it is rude to not look at the other party. I see, it is good to know that. RC, slice. Ah see, the royal chef was a bit bewildered that I cut off a finger that tried to stain the cream I was making. My finger. The intruder was one of the apprentice cooks from another team. It was foolish to assume I will not hear his approach or that I would let my guard down. My fighting efficiency is 103% after all. I, 
will be going. R.C., farewell. I returned to the work after I returned the finger to its owner. I gave the results of my work to the fat man. Good work, my assistant. The fat man nodded approvingly. At long last, we are close to our undisputed victory. This receipt has no way of failing. Kuranami san, I entrust you to form the cake and cover it with the cream. Shape this malleable mass however you like. FM, yes, chef. V2CH76. One ship fleet A normal battleship opens fire at its maximum range and pounds its targets from afar. Eight or nine huge guns would send a few cars flying at crazy distance and cause catastrophic destruction. Of course while I do lack in strength, compared to the likes of Yamato, I am still strong enough to cause a fleet of furnace fuel to be sent to their forefathers. Bang 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 a handful of 102mm shells landed around a group of galleys. While the enemy's scattered galleons were still setting up their sails and preparing for the fight, the galleys and other ore ships hurried to attack me. Of course they could not even see me and only followed the smoke. Bang 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 instead of firing the 356 I was raining a much cheaper ammo at the approaching ships. While Xera's corrections begged for a bullet, I still wanted the crew to have some fun. After all, I have no reason to hurry the havoc. Battleships. Xera shouted through the intercom. Among all options I chose the one that favored the enemy the most. I let them form the broadside line. Sir, are there any gunpowder weapons on board of the Empire's ships? You mean the same as yours? D. Something similar, yes. They have. It was all I needed to know. I almost had to stop the engines to be able to float with their speed. Soon the battleships formed their line and began closing the distance while maintaining downwind course. It took them a lot of time to get into the visual range. Just what are you planning? The Duke was holding back his fear when he saw 19 pennants to our starboard. For the normal people it might be a dreadful armada, for me it was a row of practice targets. All stations. We are accelerating. Ding 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 with a small shake the ship leniently started accelerating at full ahead. From a large distance and through their crude optics the enemy ships would never guess what I am doing until it's too late. Almost five minutes later we started to get ahead of them and I opened the side armored doors. The starboard triple 533mm torpedo launcher was aimed to hit the middle of the formation. All stations, brace yourselves for emergency maneuvers. We are turning in 10. Splash Creek with a lot of effort and the steering broken and repaired, the rudder was turned to the rightmost position which made the 44,000 tons of Grupp armor and finest steel turn like a destroyer, and like a destroyer, I fired a second wave of torpedoes. While the first wave was launched with their speed set to low, the second on is at their maximum speed. It should make boom 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 four pillars of water shot up within the enemy line. When the rudder was straightened, I opened fire with 76mm guns to measure the distance. Xera, Michael, stand down. Have some rest while I am busy. Unlike with the smaller guns, I do not want to entrust the integrity of my lower back to Xera and Michael's measurements when it comes to the actual firepower. When the shots were perfectly measured I prepared to fire. Without a fail and memento mori abuse the guns were loaded and turned towards the targets. Boom 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 two ships were pierced and the shells exploded on their other side. One ship was overturned by a near miss. Soon. Under the gunfire of mine, the enemy turned to retreat. By that time out of their naval power only three ships with tattered sails were afloat. Of course, it does not mean my job here is done and we can pack our battle cruiser into a box. While the main fleet is abandoned somewhere behind, I will soften the capital to let the Allies capture it when they finally bless us with their presence. As the main guns were aimed at the target I prepared for the coastal bombardment. Boom 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 Lilith's puff. Four explosions happened inside of the capital's citadel. The large fortress was designed by the Empire to protect the Empire's heart if the city is attacked. Nobody ever managed to break through its thick walls and make it fall. 
I can only imagine the faces of the soldiers and the imperial family when the citadel disintegrates in front of their eyes. This logic-defying thing is only possible when you meet someone to whom the common sense could never be applied. Ding new achievement, defeated Grand Admiral Throne you received one repair kit, 23 upgrade points, 1 gold coin, 16 silver coins, 3 skill points HMS Delight, BC, mod, 1949, retrofit progress, half upgrade progress, 4 tenths, accuracy, 51 hundredths reload, 41 hundredths recoil, 10 one hundredths machinery, 97 25 guns, 50 25 equipment, 95 25 requiem, LVL 1, Memento Mori, LVL 10, Lydi Train, LVL 10, on activation, 10's reload for next salvo. The following salvo has 40's reload, can be activated every 40's. On activation, minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire. When this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it, 25% chance to completely heal this ship. Duration, 30s, can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage. Has 10% chance of critical malfunction. V2CH77. End game two small dots were circling above the citadel. The garrison soldiers at first thought that it was just a couple of birds, which decided to fly around but after the explosions began, they understood that something is off. Your Majesty. You should take cover. If we all are about to die then it is better to die like men, not like cowards. Two men were standing near the entrance to the underground part of the citadel but neither of them entered. The Emperor still had a bit of hope. The explosions were happening not only inside the citadel but also around it. So the fortress might not be the primary target. Not to mention there was still a backup plan. We are almost ready. A man in a robe reported, usually the head of the court mages would not be concerned with a possible magical attack on the capital because there is little to no way anybody could bring enough mages to challenge the defenders. The most professional of mages served the emperor, and he was the best of them. He fought in many battles and seen the worst. But when huge explosions happen all of a sudden and there is no way to stop them, even the most confident people would be shaken. Kaboom another explosion happened within the walls of the citadel. When the dust settled the defenders were thrown into desperation as they saw that the main structure has collapsed. It contained both the barracks and the supple storage of the fortress. All of the food and water, the majority of weapons and munitions, and even some of the defenders were buried under the rubble. The citadel never succumbed to any kind of an attack for which it was called indestructible but now all over the fortress murmurs were heard, we are doomed, the empire is abandoned by the gods, all of us are going to die. Only when a semi-transparent cupola covered the citadel, the soldiers' despair was alleviated. However, not for long. Pum 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 large circles rippled on the surface of the shield. It was holding, somehow, through the screams of pain and agony coming from the magicians. Their magic was stopping the sheer mass of the shells and their colossal energy. The terror was only growing amongst the defenders as they clearly understood that this is the end. Yet, it was only the beginning. Delights puff after a few volleys I understood that this one will be a tough nut. My idea was to bombard the shield with everything I've got but that was not enough. The scouts see no effect. See, I see. I wondered what to do. Then something flicked in my head. If there is no way through the shield just with the sheer firepower, then you just need to have even more firepower. Breaking something with the brute force is also a viable option in almost every situation. And there is a way to obtain it for the eternal glory of the Royal Navy. I read the phrase from the blade of the stiletto and the turrets changed. Instead of the small elegant turrets I had, there were now huge, massive boxes of welded steel plates. The huge and powerful turrets were screaming how destructive they are. HMS dollar and carrot, carrot, 
BC mod dash accuracy 58 one hundredths reload 40 one hundredths recoil 10 one hundredths machinery 72 25 guns 25 25 equipment 70 25 firepower 100 AA 125 HP 56,000 evasion 64 main guns 1840 MK I loaded 8 eighths fire at 0.41 range minus 37 kilometers secondary guns 445 MK 19 loaded 0 12 fire at 820 range minus 18 kilometers tertiary guns 350 MK 34 loaded 0 4 fire at 1845 range minus 13 kilometers AA guns 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bofors stag MK2 loaded 16 16 plus 10 to accuracy of medium AA 20 millimeters MK VO Erlikan loaded 2020.50 M2 Browning loaded 8 eighths eternal glory on activation Equips 1840 MKI guns and reloads them plus 15% bonus to accuracy and plus 25% bonus to AA and evasion. Activates Memento Mori skill which lasts until this skill is deactivated. This skill cannot be deactivated until 18 inch guns are all fully reloaded. Now that's a lot of damage. I aimed one of the huge guns and fired. Kaboom the bulletproof glass of the bridge chattered. The bottom of the sea showed itself for a moment. The air around the ship and even inside of it was thundered by a colossal cordite explosion which sent an entire car towards the fortress. The colossal shell connected with the magic shield and then, boom the explosion was seen even from the command post. Its echo reached me despite the distance. I doubt anything can stop those shells. Kaboom 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 The terrifying might of the recoil was too huge to fire the guns all at once. So I could only send the enemy my presence one at a time. Of course, the accuracy was anything but satisfying, yet it is still too powerful. So even the close hits were enough to cause catastrophic damage. I will have to find an excuse for myself. Why I destroyed a few dozens of civilian houses but the victor is not sued. After a couple of salvos I decided that it should be enough. After all, my power is not something they can fight against. As I was about to disembark and proceed to recreate the scene aboard another big ship, I felt something. It was just a second but it was enough to make me stop pounding the leftover military objects and turn towards the open sea. A side story of darkness and a cat no 30. Final power of the empty stomach I looked at what I have. There were bowls with the dough and the cream, an oven, and the tools. I thought for a few minutes before understanding what should be done. The fat man must have wanted to surprise the king by giving him a cat in the bag. It can only mean one thing. I approached the jury table. What do you need? Everybody was wary of something. Can I have a room where nobody would interrupt me? After all, the best way of making a surprise is having nobody know what the result is until it is presented, if you say so. The king whispered something to one of his aides and the aide led me to a room. There was everything I would ever need to finish the cake so I began. Meanwhile. That room surely came in handy. The king laughed. I knew it is a good idea to prepare a separate kitchen in case that girl does something obnoxious. The chef laughed as well. T-S-H-H-H-H. If she hears that, we both are dead. T-K, sorry. R-C, I don't know why they would be dead if I hear them but I guess it means I should not be telling anything. I brought the cake in a box and put it on the jury table. I removed the box and the cake was now in front of the king. That is unexpected. TK, the king curiously looked at the cake. The cake has a perfect cylindrical shape, assured by a few corrections with the katana. It has good cream covering and artistic design. It also has some fruits and jam inside. Is this what I think it is? PF, yes. F. Now we know that it was her plan all along. M.G.
I perfectly recreated the appearance of a tuna can. It is hard to think of anything if you are hungry. In the end it was not surprising that Kirin Army's team won. After that the fat man became the new royal chef and got stuck in the kitchen, while Kirin Army became stuck in the dining hall eating and sleeping throughout many years. The kingdom's military budget is all spent on sustaining the insatiable hunger of the destroyer, but nobody complains. After all, ever since she settled down in the palace, no ruler dared challenging the kingdom because of the crazy cat girl, rumored to be so terrifyingly strong that she mercilessly cuts through entire armies. Of course those are just rumors, right? V2CH78. The storm incoming I anxiously looked in the binoculars. Far away in the distance were numerous ships. It was too early to tell their affiliation but if I wait for too long I might end up wasting the time I could be firing. The scouts were already flying back by the time I managed to confirm that the fleet of Scrapwood was allied. All of their ships were more or less damaged and some were barely afloat with most of their crew ready to jump off with a board or a barrel in their hands. Sir, do you have any idea where do they come from? After all, the main force will not arrive so soon. That might be some sort of a scout fleet. I'm not an admiral so I cannot say anything for sure. D, if you say so. My two hydroplanes landed on the water between me and the fleet, and waited until I approached to pick them up. The Allied fleet approached as well. While the circumstances of our encounter are a bit dubious, neither of us showed hostility. To communicate I jumped off my ship and boarded one of the less destroyed ships. What? When I showed up out of nowhere. A sailor fell on his bottom and crawled back. Calm down. I need to see the commander of this group. The commander? Um. The sailor was lost. Brian. What's going on? Another sailor came here. She wants to see the commander of the squadron. B. This lady? Well. He's dead. Joe. Who's the acting commander? The second sailor shouted towards the back of the ship. Relanian vengeance was sunk too so it makes our captain the acting commander. The response came after a minute of looking around. Okay. I could only accept that everything went south, and go find the captain. Of course, on a 30 meter ship it would be hard not to find one. Who the f are you? I was welcomed by an old man with numerous bandages all over his body. Delight. The captain of that ship. I pointed at my body. Whatever the f you want here gal? See? I need to know what happened and what your ships are doing here. We're saving our ray, can't you see? When we met that abomination we lost half of the fleet. Thank the gods, at least some of us saved our souls. See? I know that the main fleet is supposed to attack the capital but we never were informed about your existence because of dose f admiralty rats. May they f die in a f ditch. Gal, do you even know why dose idiots sent a fleet that large against the empire? Nobody'd believe you as strong as a couple of s pants sailors said. They sent dose idiots with you because they were f sure that nothing could go wrong. We were sent to be a f prey. The captain was almost shrieking in fury. Stop crying and tell me why you were sent. K-H-H-H. We were sent to lead the castle ship away. The Empire's mightiest ship. With their ship out of the way, even our fleet can take on the defensive fleet. The entire plan was built around having the castle ship out of the equation. Judging by the looks of your sexy baby, she was sent here exactly to counter that monster. We were supposed to keep it busy. Yet, everything went wrong. He gave me a look of sympathy. From what you are telling me, that castle ship wiped out the fleet and is now on its way to spoil the mood? Correct. I'll tell you everything we found out, so listen carefully. That effer is very slow and has no sails. Due to its oars it can move relatively well ignoring the wind's whims but if you manage to kill the oarsman, it'll be a sitting duck. The armor is crazy. It has enough armor to stop a ballista shot from close range without any dents. It must be either a hollow shell, or have a lot of its hull below the water. 
and finally its weapons, the castle ship has some archer towers but they are just a hush to old farts like me, what do you actually need to be cautious of? It's blow tubes, they have insane range and cut through the wood like a sword through cloth, they are located at the angles of the ship, eight in total. See? Thank you for the information. Might it be your ships will move away from here? No way in F hell. We want blood. We want to F strangle every last one of them. Ain't it right, lads? See? Yeah. Not to mention, the moment we enter the open sea, we will be hunted both by the monsters and the Empire's patrols. I patted his shoulder but he hissed in pain. When I returned I immediately wanted to send the scouts out but after I looked at Lilith I understood. She won't handle it well. For now. I checked what I have to upgrade. Ding you received 10 upgrade points. 1 repair kit. 3 silver coins. 1 skill point. 1 retrofit token HMS dollar and carrot. Carrot. BC. Mod dash. Accuracy. 58 one hundredths reload, 50 one hundredths recoil, 10 one hundredths machinery, 72 25 guns, 25 25 equipment, 70 25, main guns 18 40 mk I loaded, 8 eighths fire at 0 0.51, range minus 37 kilometers, secondary guns 4 45 mk 19 loaded, 0 12 fire at 1020 range minus 18 kilometers tertiary guns 350 mk 34 loaded 04 fire at 22.545 range minus 13 kilometers aa guns 40 millimeters slash 56.3 bofors stag mk2 loaded 16 16 plus 10 to accuracy of medium aa 20 millimeters mk vo erlican loaded 2020.50 M2 Browning loaded 8 eighths Requiem LVL2 Memento Mori LVL10 Lydite Train LVL10 On activation 10s reload for next salvo The following salvo has 36s reload can be activated every 36s On activation minus 25% chance of breakdown and flash fire when this ship is hit by an attack that would otherwise sink it, 25% chance to completely heal this ship. Duration, 30s, can be activated every 2 minutes. On activation, fires a salvo of helidite shells with higher chance to set fire on target and deal critical damage. Has 10% chance of critical malfunction. Retrofit available. Would you like to deactivate Eternal Glory and start the retrofit? Yes, V2CH78.5 Retrofit, Initializing Systems, Welcome, User, Is Everything Working? Initializing System Check 10% 50% 99% System Check Completed, Propulsion Systems, Reactivation Completed Weird, High, Recommendation, Decrease the Load of the Machinery Works Completed, Reactivation, Basic Maintenance Replacement of corroded elements, steering systems, reactivation completed. Weird, high, recommendation, none. Works completed, reactivation, replacement of the rudder and corroded elements. Detection systems, modernization and reactivation completed. Weird, minimal, recommendation. Perform exercises to familiarize with the new equipment. Works completed. Basic maintenance of the coincidence rangefinders, replacement of surface and aerial detection radars, installment of towed sonar array, fire control systems, modernization complete. Weird, none. Recommendation. Perform exercises to familiarize with the new equipment. Works completed. Full replacement of FCS, installment of ballistic computer, integrated detection and fire control. What about the weaponry? Accessing the data, report found. Report no. Weaponry modernization. Expertise and condition. Short summary. 1986 The weapons installed on HMS Delight were checked. Main guns were reactivated. The breaches and the liners appear to be good enough to be used. 
The electrohydraulics were not as tractable. We had to replace a lot of parts and even then we could not solve the X issue. Other than that, the systems work as intended and we even managed to calibrate it to reach the original speed. The guns should have no issue firing their remaining ammunition. Secondary guns were reactivated. The breaches were in a bad condition so we used the 102mm guns from other old ships. They work fine but there might be other issues with them. Currently there is no reason to rush the renovation. Tertiary guns were in good condition but were replaced. We carved out their magazines. All four guns were scraped. AA guns were removed during the mothballing and had to be reinstalled. All Bofors guns were replaced with modern ones. Although Ehrlichan mounts were scrapped and are not going to be reinstalled but the deck machine guns are going to return. With the new fire control and radars, the firepower and combat flexibility should be significantly increased. Lieutenant Commander P.G. Dawns. What was installed? Initializing system check, system check complete, main guns, secondary guns, no connection to the mainframe, medium range AA. All guns online. Radar and FCS input online, SILS, online. Radar and FCS input online, SSM, online. Radar input online. All missiles are on standby. What about the aircraft? Accessing the data, report found. Report no, safety concern regarding the new helicopter landing pad. 1986 Sir. The engineering team still would like you to review your decision. It is better to keep the old hydroplanes than to install a helicopter pad in such a place. The chances of a helicopter hitting the secondary tower or the funnels is high. Not to mention that the landing in such a constrained space will be even more dangerous during bad weather. The helicopter hangar fitted well but it does not mean that it removes all other problems. Please, give us additional time to review the designs and find a better solution to the problem. D. Valentine, Chief of our group, good, thank you. Stimulation received, set the assistant to unrequired. Understood. Assistant program set on standby. Terminating the communication interface. The wind's side story of withered blossom no one. Scattered petals I opened my eyes after waking from long slumber. Instead of the futon and dormitory walls I found myself under a palm tree. The immediate surroundings were not similar to the port in any way. All right, little guys. It is time to work. All planes on duty, take off. While the aircraft are busy I will be scouting the area around. As the group of reppers left the catapults, I looked around. I was surrounded by some vegetation but judging by the temperature it is not the true face of this area. I was dressed in my kimono and neither of my things was missing. The fuel tanks are full and the storages are breaking from all the bombs and torpedoes stockpiled there. 116 planes were in the hangar and 4 are airborne. It might be alright for me to start moving out. It is better to find a good position for myself. Meanwhile, the aircraft were done with the recon of the immediate area. In short, I am in the middle of a desert. A small oasis will not sustain me for longer than a week so I began gathering whatever I can. As I was done filling the spare tanks with water and stacking wood on the flight deck parking, I went to wherever a thrown stick told me. In other words, to the east, the scorching winds and dry air of the desert hit my face as soon as I stepped out of the final wall of vegetation. The sea of salt water which brings death is changed to the sea of sand. Let me have some fun Tilda. The wind's side story of withered blossom no two. Endless sea um I spent an entire day moving in one direction. Several times I sent bombers with external fuel tanks to scout even further ahead. I even sent one plane on a suicide mission to fly until it spends all of the fuel. It was just an endless desert. A dune behind a dune which is in a shadow of another dune and the sand. That damned sand gets everywhere. I even had to ground the entire air group to install air filters. Otherwise their engines could not work properly. I was fine. Well, instead of suffering under the scorching sun I just covered myself with the umbrella and untied the kimono. 
I might get a bit of tan but at least I won't be sweating. If those crones would be here, they would tell me that I am unable to solve this much. And also they would burn everything because they like it. Vroom one repu separated from its flight and dived to the ground. One hop and I was high in the air. One night and I was approaching another oasis. I jumped off near the oasis and sent the fighters to search through the area. Soon the first results were delivered. So. There are animals here? Looks like they are too big to sustain themselves naturally. Not to mention that there are too many of them. I saw a large number of woolly animals which grouped near dense vegetation. Suddenly, they started running. They just ran in any direction they could find. After a plane descended I confirmed that there are two large animals, which were chasing after the woolly animals. And, there was a torch. V2CH79. Fortune's tough love at the first glance I saw no difference with what I used to be. HMS Delight. BC. Mod, 1986 Retrofit, Accuracy, 51 hundredths, plus 10, Reload, 51 hundredths Recoil, 10 one hundredths Machinery, 97 50 Guns, 50 25 Equipment, 95 0 End of Block 2